Hello, Hello everybody. Hello. 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 Let's see. How's it going, everyone? The camera's on. I had to do so much shit to the fucking scenes today. It was kind of unexpected. Uh, hey, everybody. We're here. Welcome to Dungeon Selects. Episode 50 of this campaign. Woo. It's a hey. big number. Uh, big number. And uh, I guess kind of the beginning of, of, of the next like proper story arc that the party will... Uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll experience, we'll, we'll go through. Uh, first things first, uh, I have an announcement to make that uh, we added some music to our catalog. Uh, Critical Role released two albums, yeah. one Welcome to Teldore and the other one Welcome to Wildmount, which they have said that anyone that streams D&D like we do, like actual play campaigns, can use as long as, you know, we credit them. So I just edited a panel down below. Uh... So you might have to refresh because I did it while I was setting up everything, while, while the stream was already live, with like links to all the music that we use and like links to those like Spotify albums and stuff are, are down below listed. Oh, I see it now, yeah, yeah. Uh, if y'all want to uh, give them a look-see. So it's The Witcher 3 uh, soundtrack, the Divinity Original Sin 2 soundtrack, Pillars of Eternity soundtrack, and now also uh, the two Critical Role albums. Nice. They're all linked down below if you guys want to check them nice, out. Nice. Some good fucking tunes. Uh, so yeah, more, our, our music catalog grows. Fucking, all, if you guys have any suggestions of like game soundtracks that you guys were like, well, this might fit, by all means, let me know, and I'll see if I can reach out to uh, the people that own the rights and see if they want to give us permission. So just yeah, shoot me a DM or something, because we're always looking for, for more music to uh, add to Ooh. our library. Koiba is watching football, by the way, because England's playing, so he might be a little distracted yeah. from every once in a while. Oh, you know? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not. Does something like cheer at a character's misfortune? He's probably no, not no, hearing at never... that. I'll never vocally cheer, I'll just be like... <laughs> yeah, that's fine, yeah. that's fine. <laughs> that way, uh, we'll always know what the score line is, because if... Oh wait, can depressed... I request someone make a gif of that immediately? That gif of Koiba just like... That's what uh, I want. If Koiba looks sad <laughs> and depressed, England is dead. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so they just so like... We can gif it, make it an emote. Yes. Yeah. Um, One of our animated emotes. But we got a full house today. Everybody's here. Uh, a few of us are, including myself, uh, are a little, little, Sicky. little, little, little sniffly, little, little blech. Yeah. But uh, you know, it's, it's that time of year, man. Ill. Like fucking, it's the time so of year. Cool. It's winter. Winter's coming. It's not winter yet, I guess. But winter is coming, and the only thing. with that comes flu season and colds and whatnot. Uh, so I bear got with my us. flu shot. I'm still sick. I'm upset. Unfortunate. That's a skill issue right there. Um. Anyone have any announcements they would like to make before we get going? Uh, yeah, our uh, Dutch and I played <clears> in <throat> our Call of the Nether Deep campaign yesterday. We did. And uh, obviously you can watch the VOD on Twitch, or if you prefer watching on YouTube, the very mildly edited version will be on YouTube probably sometime tomorrow. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah, I'm very, I'm very, very ill. So excuse any of my voice or sounds today. Man, God bless for you role-playing a character that doesn't speak, huh? That's crazy. <laughs> right? It's great. It's, it's like Imagine being bad, really ill and trying to still be in character with your voice. <laughs> Dude, you know, well, actually, this will make me the most. This will make me the most in character because if Dagon for some reason chooses to speak because her vocal cords are so damaged, she probably would sound only a few shades worse. Than <laughs> anyway, yeah. So problem solved. Yeah, true, true, true. Uh, anything else? We played last week. We did. We played, and Ethan DM'd it. It was actually my first time playing, being DM'd by Ethan, and it was really great, and it was fun. True. And we're going to be doing another session at some point, so yeah. yeah. yeah so um, because no, no set date yet, so keep an eye we, out for announcements. We're still figuring out people's schedules. Uh, I DM'd for Dutch, Duke, uh, Baldi, and Ismira. We played a one shot that has been derailed to the point of being a two shot uh <laughs> somewhere i have the information for the fucking uh, uh one shot we played but i can't remember off the, the sword coast one right <laughs> trouble yes, trouble trouble, uh, trouble and wield them right trouble trouble and wield them uh made by a dutch content creator that i can't remember the name of on dm's guild you can find it it's pay what you want so if you want to get it for free, you can. And if you really enjoy it, you can throw some money that way. It's what I plan to do once I've been paid at the end of the month because it's Pog and I want to support a cool content creator. I still like we were like halfway through, you said, kind of ish. Yes. And I'm like, I still have no idea what the actual fuck is going on. Yeah, you know what I mean? we're, it's we're like... halfway through and the party are like trying to figure out what's real and what's not. It's a very small town. Rumors spread very quickly. There's a lot of like misinformation and 
is that real? Is that what happened? Is mm -hmm. that just some weird story? But are they all high? Be, uh, you know, could be. Uh, but yeah, we'll uh, we'll do the, 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 the second part of that uh, soon. TM they, oh, somewhere in the next couple of weeks. We'll we'll make sure to to have that done before the Christmas break, at least. Um, so keep an eye out. Keep your eyes peeled. Um, but in that, any announcements? Anything people want to share? I don't think so. But real quick, does anyone else see my mic lighting up like constantly? Because it's driving me fucking nuts. No. Uh, a little bit. Yeah. A little is. bit. Yeah. yeah. But we're not but getting anything. Here anything. We don't but hear there's anything, nothing. But... I've got all the noise suppression in the world. Yeah. Like what? I I don't know why that's happening, but it's bugging me. Anyway. I don't know. Um, before we get going. You know, hey, Koiba is, is 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 playing D and D, and he's watching footy, so he better have some good Ooh. fucking snacks going on. I know? don't really have good snacks today. What the fuck? That's by just not twelve fan are you? We do I'm have cursed. I do have cursed snacks oh, today. Oh, he has cursed <laughs> snacks. Here we go. Go on. It's not great. So I I you know I kind of mm -hmm. wanted to bake, but then couldn't be fucked. So I was like, what's more cursed than baking? Is just deconstructed baking. Oh no. oh no! So instead of having a cheesecake, I just got digesters in Philadelphia. Oh! <laughs> what the fuck? What? Oh, no! Wait! 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 That no, digesters sad. in Philadelphia is good. Wait. No. Is it? It's yeah. Good, no. Digesters are no. a, a, a cracker. No. Digesters are not a, a cracker. Absolutely. They come no. in the biscuits for cheese box. Therefore, they're a biscuit for cheese. Okay? Oh. Not that it's tasting bad. It's just that it's such a sad. Like when you say it's like this is what you wanted and this is what you've just settled what? for. Dude, like, just Koiba is eating the depression meal. Dude, of no. Head. Listen, <laughs> when I go when I go downstairs at like four a.m. and I'm like, oh, what's fucking going? If I find digesters and cream cheese, that's a good night. Like that's <laughs> no. I'm getting through five, six, seven of those bad boys. That's the, that's the same energy. It is the same energy as going into the fridge and just eating a block of cheese. Not no, it's not. Slap, no, it's bro. fucking not. It's Don't the same energy dare. as going into the fridge. All right, Mr. Duck, I'll just take a piece of cheese. Butter in some digesters and putting the cheese on the digesters. If I it's open good. Up the fridge in the middle of the night, I've, you know, I've had a couple of drinks or whatever, and I see a block of like young Gouda cheese. I'm like, yes, pog, and I'll Why fucking. Dumb? Why? It's like it's like That's... creamy and not aged very much. It's very very Young soft. And, yeah, it's very soft and creamy. If I go to someone's so house just have and I ask for crackers and cheese, and they give me digestives and cream cheese, I'm leaving immediately. Calling it a deconstructed cheesecake is that listen? True, actually yeah. true. You go yeah. into some high end restaurant and you get no. some like digestive crumbs and a schmear of cream cheese and i'll be like uh this is a michelin <laughs> style uh yeah. you know and i'm so. walking out yeah that's funny that's I'm funny leaving my Bell, you're wheeling out let's be I'm, <laughs> I'm leaving my wheelchair and i'm walking out just to prove the point <laughs> and everyone's gonna be God. astounded like, it's a miracle says i knew no, it i hate it no okay anyway Anyway, anyway, anyway. I didn't think that would be um, quite as controversial as it was. I'll be honest with you. We've, we've, we've been for the, for the bit. I can't believe I'm the only one behind it, honestly. I'm, 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 I'm surprised I anyone was. I can't believe you're behind it. All right, guys. Let's Hello. let's let's, let's reel it in. No. Calm it down. Corbett oh, eats cursed Beyond snacks. What? Corbett is cursed. D&D Beyond is like snowy. It's got like snow on it. Oh. Huh? <laughs> it, it. it was snowing. What are you talking about? I can see about? it on yours, but it's not for <laughs> me. Only Are yours is silly. Oh, I see it. I see it. Yeah. Is anyone else using right. the app or? Yeah, it's is that, the app. Is that just like oh, all that's the default? That, that's gotta be like the default stuff, right? I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. No, that's, it's that's, not. Anyway, what happened to the little. Anyway. Children, gather round. Quiet down. Okay. Settle down. It's okay. It's gonna be all right. Dad's here. Um, because it's been two weeks. Two weeks since we last played. Um, I'll give you guys a little bit more of an in-depth. Uh, you know, last time on Dungeon Select uh, kind of thing. Uh, the party is still in Eldilon, kind of figuring out their next moves. They have a couple of, of, of things that they could be potentially doing next, one of which is traveling to Segalia, so their first time traveling off-continent uh, uh, during this campaign, to find an artifact, uh, an artifact of the Sundering, uh, the Helm of Aros, which they can then use potentially to turn into um, to, to, to turn into other smaller magical items to make the detection of members of the Nightweb Order a little easier. Uh, while in Segalia, 
Brooks would also like to visit some family. Um, and there is a, a small payment offered for the party if they do choose to travel to Nat Eel to find an artifact, uh, a tooth of Asmodeus that fell into the hands of some clerics there, which is probably a little too dangerous for them to keep a hold of. Um, there's also other things they could be doing. Um, Lazarin had a chat with, uh, with some family, his sister, and got the rundown on what exactly they all know about this, this affliction that seems to be bothering only the male side of the family. Um, let's start it with, uh, with Lazarin's grandfather. And showcase some kind of connection to the elemental plane of Earth. But the party did go to a dinner. Uh, they got an invitation to a, to a dinner party at the mug um, at the behest of the Crimson Lotus. When they were there, they basically got told, like, hey, some of your friends are involved with us, blah, blah, blah. They do occasional jobs for us. Instead of them constantly having to lie to you guys, this is us kind of showing you a little bit more about what we do, what we are, to, to make that relationship, that working relationship they have a little easier. Um, with that came, um, you know, some, some, some important questions got asked, um, and the party, the non-members of the Crimson Lotus, got followed when they went back to the tavern, just in case, and uh, one particular person got overheard mentioning a certain ore that he may or may not have stolen from them when they found it, um, which Davian then clocked that they were followed uh, and had a conversation with uh, with this individual on, on, on the roof of the Friendly Giants. And they basically agreed that for now it's fine, but first thing in the morning, uh, this individual, uh, this this bald wood elven man, would like to have a little chat with uh, with, with with Jax about this. Um, not an issue yet, but what could potentially be an issue. Um, so, which I think, if I remember correctly, it's been two weeks. So forgive me if I'm wrong. Davian put Onu in Jax's room and basically told him to to wake him up as soon as the sun came up, like very early, wake Jax up. Yeah, 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 to fucking clatter away until yeah. Jax woke up. So, we start in the front of the giant, and Jax, you wake up way before anyone else at the sound of Onu just clattering his beak in your room. Just, just <laughs> going ham. And Onu, shut the fuck up. He doesn't stop. He just keeps going, and like jumps up to your bed and just kind of like prods you, pushes you. Okay, I'm up. I'm up. Fuck off. <laughs> he hops. He hops back down. He just looks at you. Does he stop clattering, or do I need to hit him? He stops clattering when you're like, I'm, I'm up. Fucking I'm up. hit my butt. <laughs> I'm gonna, dude. If you're firm, I'll shut the fuck no, up. No, no. When you're when you're like, I'm up. I'm up. He like hops off, stops making noise, and just kind of looks at you, tilts his head a little bit. Now, given that I have the uh, <clears throat> alert feat and a passive perception of 16, would I hear this from my room? Yeah, I'll say so. Yeah. Plus, you, okay. you, kind of, plus given you, that I'm awake. You know yeah. that you said Onu, you told Onu to do this, so yeah. you probably, yeah. What's that, uh, Bell? Can I hear it? Because I'm awake. Uh, <laughs> make a perception check. Wait, what's your passive perception? 18. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you hear yeah. it as well. The rest of you guys oh. are still asleep. Uh, what are your passive perceptions like? Uh, 15. No. 15. 15? Brooks? Mine's a 12, but I didn't but. get a chance to say this last session. Mm -hmm. Brooks was going to ask Cass to wake him up early for something unrelated. I, but he didn't, so, you know or what I mean? some like... sexy time. Uh, what okay. the? What? Laura's <laughs> 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 no. no. gone God. for one week. No. Sorry, I like, last week because we were running late. Uh, not last week, because yeah. we were running uh, late. Sorry, but like, we fucking I'm not gonna fucking retroactively allow things to have happened two weeks ago. I'm sorry. <laughs> Forgive nah. me. Uh, fucking message to chat. Yet. So, Kess, you, you wake up, you, or you're awake, and you hear this as well. A couple rooms down. <laughs> um, Davigan, you wake up from yeah, it as, as well. Yeah, as soon as it starts happening, I'm just I'm hopping up, get coming out of my room, and mm -hmm. going to Jax's door to fucking let Onu out. 
Okay. So Jax, your door opens up. You see Davian comes in and then retrieves Onu. I, no, I don't. I don't even come in. Oh, I, I like in? open the door. I just open the door at John and like fucking whistle and you know Onu hey, was just Davian. sort of. Yeah. What? Why in the hell is your bird waking me up at this godforsaken hour? Because you gotta be up fucking early to talk to a man about Arcanite. Come again. Oh, fuck. I'll step it. Wait. You, are you decent? Yes. Yeah. Don't like the uncertainty, but I'll step in. <clears throat> Close the door behind me. Uh. Well, we will follow back to the tavern. They know that you have certain stolen goods that belong to them, and I'm pretty sure they intend on talking to you early this morning, downstairs probably, maybe, I'm not sure, uh, about possibly getting it back. Um, okay, I see. Uh, I'm just gonna grab my bag real quick. Cass is going downstairs, by Start the way. drinking an ale I have in there. Just, uh, swirl it on down. Uh, I don't know, it's a problem. Better. Um. Well, uh, what do they want? They want the Arcanite back. That's it, really. Did I say how much I have? I. Uh, I. I don't think so. Only, they just it's know only that the one. we intercepted the fucking. Well, I say intercepted. We uh, killed whoever was in possession of it, the fucking troll or ogre or whatever it was, and took some of it, and they know you have it, and they want it back. <clears throat> All right. Um, I I'm assuming we don't want to kill these people for it. I would say, given the nature of the organization and given the relationship that certain friends of ours have with this organization killing them might be a really bad idea i know i just uh, very rare yes yep i mean <clears throat> it's not really in my hands but um yeah to be up early to speak to him I don't know if I don't I don't remember if you said it it would be downstairs. I think I think you did. Uh, well, uh, should we wake the rest of the party for this? Or... No. Uh well, I thought maybe this would be better off as just like a you thing, but uh, probably the less um... of us implicated, the better. I mean, if if it just turns out to be a you thing then you know we they are upset then only you die or you do something stupid then you know only you get fucked over so that's pretty much i feel like it's in our best interests okay because if you go on your own you're not gonna you're le i feel like less likely to do anything stupid because you're just just you you know, you've got no backup. What's that supposed to mean? Well, well you know, you, you won't get cocky. You won't be like, oh, I've got the best ranger in all of... Have I ever been cocky? And best ranger is reaching at best. <laughs> well, okay. Well, but, you know, when there's five other people behind you, it's easy to be like, you know, oh, I'm invincible. So if it's just you... Well, I'm not invincible. I almost died a few times. <laughs> you get what I'm trying to say. <clears throat> I, I suppose. I just... I wasn't sure if we should let the others know that it's going away. I don't remember if I told them. Um... I thought I told everybody I had it, but perhaps I didn't. I think you did, but I don't remember. I Honestly, I don't even remember that far back to whether it makes any uh, difference. Like, if I'm they happy knew if I remember the trouble. night before. Or, knowing you, we probably told you not to take it, to be honest, but... Tends to be the manner of things. Uh, I suppose. All right. Um, 
Well, I'll make sure I'll make sure the others know just so if you do, you know, if anything happens, we might be able to get uh, back. Well, or... worst case scenario, I just give it to him, right? No, I don't know if that's the worst case scenario. I feel like worst case scenario is you well, end up I'm bleeding out. I'm not going to attack a... him in the middle of the city. Uh, first off, that'd make me want to not. Just no, I'm not saying you. Them. I'm just saying, oh, uh, you, you know... Uh, he seemed reasonable about the whole thing. I don't hope you haven't found a way to use it yet, because I'm sure if there's any of it missing, they'll be very upset. But, um... Oh, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Just smile and nod and give them what they want. Because it's not really ours. And maybe they'll even... Maybe they'll throw in some money. I don't know. I'll have to look at something first. Hmm. Um, <clears throat> Kes... As you have gone downstairs early, because you're, you're up earlier than the rest of the party is, uh, generally, uh, you go down, and you can see that the tavern is, is the, or the, the, the inn, I guess, is <clears throat> very quiet. Uh, you see Calf behind the bar, but you do see this, this, this one bald wood elf just sitting in one of the, uh, at one of the corner tables with his legs kicked up on the, on the table. Shoots you a nod of, like, recognition and, you know, like a, like a warning kind of nod. And just kind of sits there sipping on some kind of mug of, of liquid. Uh, I'm going to get a cup of tea from Cav and then go sit with the, the elf. Good morning. Good morning. Get up, uh, awfully. I'm, uh, I'm all right, yes. I uh, just uh, have some business to attend to with one of your friends, I believe. Um, it seems that he came across uh, a particular item or several items that belong to us. Um, just wondering what his intentions are and uh, what we should do to get it back, you know, the rightful owners and whatnot. Yeah, that sounds about right. How do you think uh, last night's dinner went? Your friends, you know, are now aware of us, which is risky, but um, mm. I don't know. There's a couple of them that I'm not sure about. They're not particularly difficult to take care of if they need to be anyway, so. Is that so? Mm. All right. I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> Let's go now. Let's do it. You, uh... <clears throat> so yeah, I just make small talk while he waits for uh, for Jax to get down, pretty much. Yep. Um, two things I want to do. Mm -hmm. The first is, because I don't remember ever doing it before, I want to try identifying the Arcanite Orb. See if it does anything again. Are you ritual casting it, or are you just uh, sacrificing it? Uh, I'm actually casting it, so it's just a minute. Okay. <clears throat> um, It doesn't really, like... <laughs> It doesn't give you as much as you would identify like an enchanted item or like an enchanted shield or something, but you kind of get like a breakdown of the, the mixture of, 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 of elements um, that are present in said ore. Um, you get a sense that this material, this Arcanite, is a mixture of... Um, it's a mixture of, of, of iron, but it's it's iron that got heavily exposed to just a very large amount of, of arcane energy. Uh, the origins of it, uh, you don't know, but you reckon that whatever mine this came from, uh, something happened that exposed the, the present ores there to just insane levels of arcane energy that kind of changed and infused right. into the existing ores. So you have a couple of chunks. You can tell that, oh, this one used to be iron at one point. But then you have another one that's like, oh, yeah, this used to be copper. But they all kind of fused into this, this magical oh. arcane ore that is now known as Arcanite for those that know of its existence. Okay. So instead of it being completely new element, it's like already existing elements that just now got exposed and infused with a large amount of arcane energy. As to how or why, you don't know, but that seems to be what what makes Arcanite. The 
be something to follow in the future. Yeah. Perhaps right. find a way to make it yourself if you know how much arcane energy you need to expose to a... And figure out how to get the arcane energy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Jax is a crafty guy. I'll figure it out. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. Um, and then the other thing I want to do right before I go down mm -hmm. is I'm going to cast Enhance Ability on myself and give myself Eagle's Splendor. What does that do? Gives me advantage on Charisma check. Okay. Nice. All right. Head on so, down to meet the music. So as you go downstairs, you can see Kess sitting at a table with this this bald wood elf. Uh, he he looks at you. Just the man I wanted to speak to. Uh, yes, I had heard you heard some things last night. That's true. Would you uh, prefer this conversation to be had in private, or do you not mind your? Friend I've here, being present. To you mostly. Is Davian joining him as well that downstairs, or is he waiting upstairs? No, I'll go to the bar and get food. Okay. All right. Well, if uh, if if you're comfortable having this conversation over here, then by all means. Um, it has come to my attention last night when you were headed home from our, uh, you know, dinner party, that you came across some objects that. Uh, Fortunately, belong to us, and well, given the nature of the objects, as you well know, the, the rarity of it all, I was wondering, um, can we get those back? Uh, well, since we're technically part of your organization now, uh, uh, I we are organization adjacent. <sighs> you are. Known associates of some of our members, yes, but that's where the relationship stops. Uh, well, we're almost inducted at this point, and, um, <laughs> and seeing as we do have three members of our party currently in the organization as uh, members of what are your acolytes, mm -hmm. um, I, I was perhaps thinking, since I've had some time to study the piece of ore that I do have, um, that we might perhaps keep it, and I can use it to benefit the organization. It's funny you should mention that, because I figured I've done my research into you. And obviously, our relationship with Captain Vera tells us a lot about who you are. I figured that you wouldn't want to part with an object of this nature that easily, so I actually... Had a late night talk with His Excellent last night, and uh, I came with an offer. You're a smart uh, inventor type, right? You like to experiment and create new things. Is that not true? It is. I made this armor myself. Well, given that nobody on this world has any idea how to use Arcanite with, with it not killing at least a handful of people. Our offer to you is, keep what you have, do your research, but anything you learn about the ore or how to use it, you give that information to us. Sounds more than fair. In exchange, you get to keep the ores you have, and... Uh, that's pretty much it. You have, uh, I don't know how, exactly how much you have, but you, I'm sure you have plenty to do some experiments with, some tinkering, and learn a lot. And as long as you share that knowledge with our order, all's forgiven. Uh, it sounds like we have a deal. If you doubt, however, if you are caught withholding information, it's going to end very badly for you. And anyone you care about. Well, there's no one of that left, so, um... <laughs> Is I that say, so? Uh, we have a deal. Vote. He puts a piece of pa shoves a, a piece of paper forward where he has written down this exact agreement, and he has already right. signed it, and he turns it, like, to face you, hands you, a pe hands you an ink pen. Uh, would you mind if I, uh, woke up my contract associate just to give it a little look over? No, don't wake him up! 
person. I hate that guy. It is just literally, you can read it through, it's literally what I what I just told you, and you v- verbally agreed on, just written down and making sure that we have it in writing in case. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, I... No, you don't need to read it. You, no, don't read it. <laughs> can I cast no, Detect Magic saying, just like, to see he if can, the paper is He can is read magical. it right now. He's like, he's putting it on the table in front of him, like he can read through it. Yeah, yeah. can I cast Detect Magic with my rod? Magic sure. Detecting and uh, just see if the paper is magical in any way. It is. Hmm, what kind of magic is that? Um, Sorry, that does matter to me. I'd say evocation. Okay, not what I thought it was going to be. That's better, actually, than what I thought it was. As long as it reads the same as we verbally agreed, Mm -hmm. I sign the paper. Okay, you sign the paper. You can see that the ink kind of lights up when you write write it down. And he takes the paper and pen back from you. Very good. All right. That is all I needed. I do have some information that I have learned so far, now that we have a contract. Is that so? Uh, I don't know who you want to hear this. Sorry? I don't know who you want to hear this, so if you want to be a bit more private about it, we can. Uh... He looks around and it's just Calf behind the bar not paying attention and then Kess and, and you, so he's like, eh. And Davin, and me? I guess. Yeah. I was gonna say. So, he, so he's, he, he's like, feel free. Davin's no one. Uh, it, well, it seems to be a, not a specific type of metal, but just set, uh, just these metals in the mine, wherever you got them, were exposed to a massive amount of arcane. Arcane what? Sorry? and whatnot, I have no clue, but... So, that, okay. Fair enough. Uh, I suppose I can tell you a little bit of information about how we came across it. Uh, we found it, actually, in a mine that, um... Are you familiar with arcane ley lines? Yes. So, naturally, uh, in, in a place like this, but throughout our entire plane, there is areas where there is a large presence of, of arcane energy, um... It is where a lot of uh, wizards draw their their their, their powers from. Um, typically, like schools for wizards are, are built near ley lines because just being in the presence of a, of an arcane ley line kind of empowers them to to uh, you know add, put a little oomph in their endeavors. Um, it's also. The arcane ley lines are also used to to draw from when enchanting items and whatnot, which you, as a, as a tinkerer yourself, you know, you have done before, I assume. Yes, you've enchanted uh, things. Bits and bobs. I prefer science over magic, but one is not exclusive without the other. Fair enough, but regardless, we um found these ores in a mine. Um over on the other side of the continent, near, um, well, near the uh, border of Ferber's footing into the more uncharted lands. Um, the mine there got overrun by creatures and something went wrong, uh, big, big, big damages were suffered, and it, it seems to have damaged the arcane ley lines, which caused a very volatile explosion, killing... Pff, Gods know how many people that were all present there. But also created this. The ores. And where is this mine located? Fuck me. Uh, hold on. <laughs> Sorry to make you search through your notes. No, 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 no. Oh. He uh, takes out a map of uh, just like the continent. And he, it's not marked or anything. But basically, do, do you guys have a does, does Jax have a map of like the actual continent, or is it just Keldar? Uh, I, think I, I think I have a map of the world. Let me check my inventories real quick. Doesn't like, he have like shit tons of maps because of his cartography? Oh, thing? that's true. Yeah, mm-hmm. but that I don't think I have that on right now. Actually, that's an abuse. Well, if you have the map of Agrind. Yeah, I know we do as a group yeah, he'll, somewhere. Where, where, where Ferber's footing is, he points like pretty much at like 
the 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 the, the west border into Wia, uh, W H I Y Y A, uh, which is like the west border of Ferber's footing, mm -hmm. and he points kind of like at the southernmost point of that border, close to the water. Uh, uh, right around there. Okay. Oh, that's all we know, unfortunately, and, uh, well, with you being our, uh, I guess, our researcher now, you'll be glad to know, to, to get to know more about it when the time comes. Uh, yes, it's very curious. Um, well, I, I don't know what the next time we'll be exploring things like that, but uh, I'll keep you guys in the loop. Sounds good. He rolls up the contract and puts it in his bag. St puts his pen away as well. Gets up, finishes his drink, puts it on the table. All right. Have a great day, everybody. Uh, see you when I see you. And he just kind of, like, turns out, turns around like 180s on the back of his heels and walks towards the door. You were lying, right? Uh, lying about what? You do care about us. Yes. Of course. Insight check. <laughs> you know I have advantage, right? <laughs> yeah, with Kess doesn't. <laughs> Kess doesn't know what advantage and, is. And you could roll That's poorly with have. advantage. True. Didn't roll poorly with advantage. <laughs> Who would ever do that? Not Koiba. Wouldn't be. <laughs> 26. Oh. He's not lying about that he cares about you guys. Do you imagine he goes, it's hard to read. It <laughs> <laughs> needs the ego boost from knowing someone cares. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, Davian, come here. I will uh, hop down from the bar and walk over. So I'll pull out, the, uh, or since we had the map out, mm -hmm. I'll like kind of point to where it, like, uh, it was on Wea. Yeah, just like on the border between Wea and yeah. uh, Ferber's footing. Yeah. Ferber's footing next to the water. Um, it, isn't it curious that it, this is somewhat near the center of the rotation of Celestia's star? Hold on. Okay. Not an exact middle, but... Close. Interesting. Two things, Mr. Dum. Hello. Mr. Dum. Given that it's in Ferber's footing... Mm-hmm. Fairly close to some uncharted territory. Mm -hmm. Is it a place that I'm familiar with? Uh, yeah. Uh, well, not that you personally are familiar with, but you know that uh, the mining expedition organized by the kingdoms uh, were the the people that went to explore those mines. And um, but that that was like very early days. You haven't really not kept one of my in touch. You, you like. When growing up, you have heard about some, like, freak accident at, at, at a mine, which you're kind of like, oh, maybe that's what they were talking about. You never really had any reason to look into it, but it adds up. Um, and, like, and does it, does it check out? Is it close to the middle of the, the middle of this constellation's movement? Like, um, it's not the exact middle, but it's, I make a, Make an inside check? Sure. Oh, it's bad. Uh, nice, strong. 11. Like, admittedly, there's a lot of things that seem connected in a way you doubt that coincidence doesn't, com is, you know, completely doesn't exist. And this might just not, you, you, you're uh, not sure yeah. about that being connected at all. Oh, I'm, unless we go and see it for ourselves, I don't really think there's any way to sort of put two and two together i mean it well, could no, be a coincidence like... but so far nothing has been right um <laughs> i don't know i remember something about a freak accident in a mine in that area when i was younger but don't really know any details i can't imagine what freak accident causes such like strong magic to just seep into the the minerals themselves, but... Well, Kaz's friend said it was, had something to do with an arcane ley line being triggered or something of that sort. Arcane a massive explosion line. of arcane energy, which creates arcanite, as far as I can tell. 
I don't know. Uh, maybe something to chase after we deal with, you know, uh, this stuff in Sigal, you know. Yeah, maybe. I mean... <laughs> oh my god. Is that, too, is that, too, is that too, Craig? <laughs> Sorry. Nice. No, 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 no. It's it's good, it was a good passing move. It was really cool. It, <laughs> All right. It um, might. It might be worth looking into. It. It might not be. It. It depends how close we find ourselves to that part of the world. I mean. Well, I figure we're going to go to Fairbrothers Footing at some point to figure out uh, what's going on with Brooks. Yeah, but yeah, Brooks. I mean, the case. That, sorry, the 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 place in question. Um. But it's a little bit off the beaten path. I mean. I don't, I, well, I don't know. so is half the stuff we do. Yeah, that's yeah, true. It's just something like... to keep in mind if we're near the area. And we don't have anything, you know, like clock ticking or something. I feel like I've got a lot of things clock ticking right now. Maybe in a, maybe in a couple of years we'll take a look well, into this. this clock is ticking, but... What? <laughs> Huh? Well, Technically, so are all of ours. Really. Uh, at this point, oh, we'll say that the rest of the party yeah. also wakes up and gets ready to start their day. Well, I mean, yeah, that is, that is you know, time sensitive, but like, we yeah, don't I mean, have obviously there's nothing we can do about it enough now. information to do anything about it now. So, do I yeah. know how long it usually takes a Lazarin to get ready in the mornings? Because he has to prepare spells and shit, right? Uh, yeah, it probably takes like 20 30 minutes. Especially since I'm changing spells today, so. Cool. I'm gonna wait outside of Lazarus' room. Oh, no. uh, also, while we're at the table, Mr. DM, I'm gonna attune to my winged boots. Alright. Just uh, keep you in the loop. Alright, alright, alright. I'll allow you to call that a short rest to attune to it, I guess. Gosh. Just eating breakfast, I mean. No, you're fine, you're fine. Um. All right, so everybody wakes up. Daigon, you wake up. You notice, you know, as per usual, Kess is already downstairs. Um, the Lazarin, you wake up, open your door, and you just see Brooks just waiting there. Morning. I'm going. Are you? Is uh, Lazarin stood right in the door? I was just over the door, come like walking out. Yeah, just like. Ooh. I'm going to push him back in and shut the door. Mm. Mm. Uh -huh. Oh. You're getting strange by the end of Brooks. <laughs> so, I tried the sort of jokey approach to this, and it doesn't seem to have worked. So now we're having a serious conversation. Awesome. The one person in this group most likely to have adverse events happen to them on their own continues to go off on his own. I didn't go off on my own. I got tossed to escort me. No, I'm not saying they're bad people. But they're not us. I don't know for definite if they would get involved if someone else turned up and tried to fucking murder you. That was a calculated risk. Brooks, no. come on, I'm here now, it's fine. No, it's it was not. a route that we knew was being watched. I was out completely in the open, fine. No calculated risks. No going places without telling anyone else. Otherwise, I will fucking baby you and follow you around everywhere. And if needs be, I will pick you up and carry you like a small child. <laughs> The man who blew himself up is giving me advice on how to be safe. That's how fucking bad it's become. <laughs> that I am the one that has to tell you. I don't have to tell me, Brooks. It's perfectly fine. I don't know. I'm going to jab him squarely in the chest. You are the reason that other people in this group are not dead. I like some of the people in this group. I do not want them to be dead, which means I need you. Which means you need to not make dumb fucking choices. Are we clear? Yes, we're clear, Brooks. I God. walk away and I shut the door behind me. <sighs> what a cunt. <laughs> 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 
you know when so you say shit, something after you slam the door on your parents after walking away after like the yeah, know, it's definitely you, like, it's like a go. minute later so i'm like sure he's not bad i'm like what a cunt like, <laughs> like, 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 oh my god you're like i fucking got that runs back up. <laughs> what i'm sorry that? Mean? That fucking goes out. again <laughs> fucking sake <laughs> all right eventually the entire party is downstairs uh Having breakfast and whatnot. Uh, if you guys just want to mark down two silver for like the food, the no, breakfast. I don't and... want to mark down. Two well, I'll mark it down anyway. I uh, don't think I will. Well, that's, that'll be four silver, then I'll mark it down myself. Thoughts? <laughs> mark down what? I have access to all two your silver. sheets. Two silver. I, I did it. Don't yell at me. I don't think mm. I actually have my don't... currency updated in. I don't fucking carry Candy silver, World. bitch. I'm fucking. Well. <laughs> Figure it that out. That sounds like a you problem. They can break gold, motherfucker. And we'll change one of these. <laughs> God, this is so Snap annoying. Half. Um, Correct me if I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. They don't sell coffee here. Uh, no, that's uh, that's the craft you gotta be for coffee, that's brother. True. Uh, coffee, 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 yeah, especially in coffee. this area where there's barely any civilization except for like two provinces, which is like maybe 10% of the total landscape. Shit like that is not really, you know, they haven't really found a way to produce the it import. there yet. They, they have to import it I all. Will, so. rather than Although, down, really, I will have a cup of tea. the climate here should be very well suited oh, to Yeah, this whole place should just be a, a coffee shit. belt. You know? Like, they'll, yeah. they'll be able to, but they have to... They just have to start doing that yeah. and start growing. get the infrastructure in. Like, You're there's priorities, beans. and coffee is not one of them right now. Yeah. Medium roasted? <clears throat> eaten by cats and pooped out? <laughs> so... You guys all have your, have your food, uh, sit yeah, at a table. Yeah. Uh, what is it you guys would like to discuss, and what are you guys doing with your day? All right, everybody. What is it we'd like to discuss, and what is it we're doing today? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm we going to bed. need to go and figure out whereabouts in Tusigali we can get transported, because that is... Oh, we, we need to plan about... No. no we, oh. didn't we know stay. we can get to Sigali. We don't know where we're going to end up when we get there, which affects the order we do things. Because it doesn't make sense to hike from one side of the fucking province to the other to then go back because we didn't do the thing that was right near where we where Well, we're we getting were. sent to the Whispering Woods, correct? Well, in well, theory, we're getting sent to, to the it. Whispering Woods. We could get us sent somewhere else. We might but, and need then to be sent somewhere or... with like a teleportation circle or... Yeah. I mean, As they say that, I just go, like, make this kind of gesture, like, putting a lot of space between my hands, and then sign to Kess, uh, maybe we should tell them the Whispering Woods are kind of big. Like, that's a lot of territory. Uh, Dagen <laughs> says that, uh, the Whispering Woods are really big. Yes. It fully depends where we think this item is in the Whispering Woods, uh, not to mention that we need to know how we're gonna transport it back and then we need to decide are we gonna go because in my mind it makes sense to have the tooth before we go down to see my family because we can drop off the tooth there and that gets sorted and everything i also would prefer not to be carrying around this really important item when we just go you know casually fucking across the continent so we either need to to plan a route, or this is why I said that we should go find out, and everyone was like, no, it'll be fucking fine, but... I take out, out my journal, and I draw a quick little, kind of, like, diamond shape, uh, label it WW, and then a bit south of that, I put a dot, and write, like, Natil, uh, and then, so I point to Natil, and write, like, number one, and then an arrow pointing up to the woods, because then we can start at the bottom, and, like, go up trying to communicate, start here, so in the southern end, and then work our way north through the woods. You put a dot com as well, or...? <laughs> Shut up. I think it's probably sensible to find out where we're gonna land and then plan around that, because we can always travel, then plan once we've traveled and we're in the province, but we need to know where we're... Where are, uh, I our think it's not the end know. point. Yes, exactly. We need to know... To, in order to be able to plan. I, I think the biggest unknown is that we don't know how we're giving the item back. Because I would assume that we're going to be sent near the way through <clears throat> where we have to get the item, correct? Our issue is getting it. Well, I mean, it entirely depends how they're transporting us, surely, but 
I mean, it might be a case of we go, we come back, we send the item off, and then we continue in Zagalia for a while. Or it might be a case of we leave getting the item to last. It depends. We need to ask questions. And I don't think we can plan more than that until we ask questions. Uh, on the page with my diagram, I'll write out, in the past, we've typically either brought items for them to a known storehouse, or if it's urgent enough, uh, the patron herself will just find us. I think you're mixing it. up... Uh, you're mixing up the tooth and yeah. the... So the uh, um, the Crimson uh, Lotus item, the tooth... Yeah, I'm talking about the tooth. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. Have, that's we have a drop to that side. We yeah. have oh, a contact. Okay. Uh, that's at Brian's uh, place. Brooks knows yeah. someone that isn't in the Lotus, but is <coughs> f on their payroll of sorts in Stonefall, which is where Brooks' oh, okay. family is. Okay, got you. So got we you. can drop that off when we check in with his family. It's My the bad. Uh, good. Nightweb's thingy that we need to figure out what we're doing with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Crown of Aros, I think? Helm. 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 Close enough. Yeah. It goes on your head. Yeah. Mm hmm. Such is proud of me. Good job, man. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. So, you guys have your food. You, you kind of, I guess, the, the, the conclusion of that conversation is we need to go talk to the Primus before we really know for sure. So, is that your next yeah. stop? Or is there anything else you want to do in the city before you go there? Primus Dallas Dari. Uh, does everyone Dari. have health potions? Or do we need to go grab some? Um... I don't think I'm great for potions right now. What's it, Silk? I have two. Oh, I'll, hold, two. I'll hold up two fingers. I also have two. I have a couple. I have I've got, with two. More. I've got I two have and one. I've got restorative ointment. I have one, but I have my... And I'll lift up one of the two necklaces and show the amulet of health. I've also got a jug full of mayonnaise. Do you want, <laughs> do you want one of my greater healing potions? Well, I was going to say, I could go buy some for the group we need Ooh, yeah. and then just meet you over at the premises okay you plan to go on your own <laughs> uh, well we don't really need more than one person to go buy healing potions no okay All I right. give Brooks this this fucking death stare, but not really. Just like, kind of like, give this look. I'll just sort of look down. <laughs> Lash is such a fucking child, dude. Holy fuck. <laughs> oh, he gets to go off on his own. Wow. <laughs> kind of, kind of literally, he's just like, cool. That's crazy how he isn't fucking <laughs> wanted oh, dead. Jet, no. Why is there a bitching? <laughs> he's only wanted on the ocean, so as long as he doesn't go it's swimming by himself, bro. it's fine. As long as he doesn't go walk off on the ocean, it's fine. <laughs> oh, he's also wanted <laughs> swimming. He's also wanted in Fairbrother's footing, so. It's almost like I mean... fully believes that Jax is not telling us the whole truth, but trusts him enough to not pry into it. Okay, so you guys uh, leave the uh, friendly giant and head into the city. All of you head towards the docks to the uh, uh, the Imperial Trade uh, Company's warehouse, except for Jax, who takes a quick... Uh, oh, oh, wait. I'm going to go resummon uh, my boy. <laughs> oh, you almost forgot about him. Fucking Hawthorne? Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there's a, at the Trade District, at the Magic Shop, you'll be able to... Because you need a brass brazier for that, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, for the sake of brevity, they'll charge you five gold to use the brazier. Cool. Make sure to mark it down, Bell. Now that you told me that you haven't updated your finances, I'm going to be policing that. <laughs> I'm going to be policing the fuck out of it. I so. have it on paper. Hey, check to make sure that you have all the stuff for your spells, no. too. If you need to buy things for your spells, buy them now. <laughs> uh, so yeah, five gold, that, so. um, and you, uh, yeah, as a Hawthorne gets summoned, he just kind of stretches. Uh, what did I miss? <sighs> Praxis. Um, his little, 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 little fey knuckles. I turned into stone. Missed that. Cool. Yeah, that's fun. It's awesome. <laughs> no, that sounds horrible. Yeah, no, it wasn't very fun. Where are we going? What are we doing? We're going to Sigalia. Nice, never been. It'll be fun. Hell yeah. He just kind of okay. floats next to your head and just thorns uh, back. Go. 
Jax, what is it you're doing, my friend? I'm, just, I'm gonna go up to the nearest ten and just uh, uh just uh, can, can I bother you for some healing potions? Of course, good sir. The good sir, good sir. Sorry, it's still very early in the morning. Uh, just woke <laughs> up myself. Um, normal, greater, superior, supreme. Uh, a mix of normal and greater, preferably. Maybe um, uh, let's say four greater and maybe ten regular. Sure. All right. Um, hold on a minute. Order, got two fifty AP. Sorry. Sorry, I'm doing math in my head. Yeah, so the normal potions are about 50 gold each, and then the greater ones will cost you a bit more, about 250 gold. So that would be, what, you said 10 normals and 4 greaters? 1,500 gold? Uh, yes, that would be 1,500 gold. Uh, would you perhaps consider 1,300? But bulk discount? He looks at you. Make a make a persuasion check. Good thing you have advantage. True. All right. Well, how long, how does, long that does that last? An hour. <laughs> yeah, sure. Whatever. Yeah, we didn't spend too long. We have a gracious talking. DM. Sure. Man. <laughs> uh, this will be this will be the, the last thing you can do with that with that boost. That's awesome. At least I got to use it for something worthwhile. Yeah. <laughs> it's like level spell slot, guys. Let's go. Mm, let's go. <laughs> It's like when you drink your potions in Skyrim. Right so, you, uh, persuasion uh, check with advantage. 19. 1300. 1350. 1325. Fine. Shakes your hand and gets the potions ready for you. Oh, that's gonna hurt. 1325 gold. Fine. Just shocked yep. this man has that much money. Jeez. That's still oh, like du that's double more. the entire sold. fortune. <laughs> he has sold. Dude, I have 100 gold right now. Like, what? Like, he I has have sold, sold a shit worth of object. Like, the he wealth disparity? Out, he emptied out his bag of holding and is like, oh, I've got four sets of armor. I've got this. You just throw shit in there. Jax is the 1%. Yep. Yeah, Either way, so the wealth disparity in our group is great. We've got like you guys poverty line, throw middle, shit in the bag. I sell it. You don't say anything about it. I keep money. Also, how the tides have turned suddenly. Oh, that's not the rich one. <laughs> All right, so well, you, uh, you, you mark down like thirteen hundred and twenty-five gold in whatever currency you want to, that, to mark that down in. You know, feel right. free. Opa. Uh, he uh, <laughs> hands you a, a case, and in that case, he uh, you know, it's like a basically like a case of beer, but it's just filled with healing potions. Just puts it on the bar, or on the bar, on the on the on the desk. There you go, good sir. I'll just uh, pop that into uh, my bag, you holding. Hell yeah. And hit on that. Alright. <laughs> and you, you do you just go straight to the docks to the to the trade uh warehouse? Yeah. Or anywhere else? Okay. Yeah, I probably just walk cast the trading docks. Okay. Um so eventually uh do the rest of you knowing that it's just a quick stop, do you guys wait outside before you go in for your friends to join you or are you just yeah. going in as soon as you get I'll there? Oh wait. Oh wait, considering that it's gonna be a quick stop, right? He said he's gonna meet us. Oh yeah, on 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 the way, I wanna I want Hawthorne to hot sight fucking Jax. To who? What? What? He? What? What? To what me? I on on the way back, I want Hawthorne to hot sight Jax, which basically just means that if you fail a DC ten charisma save, I know your alignment. What the fuck? Okay. Like the big bad of this uh, campaign. Alignment's a little bit of a, a secret. Yeah, a weird strange one. thing in this campaign, so I don't. Yeah. yeah. DC 10? Our alignment shifts based on... And also, I know your emotional state. Dead. What? How do you feel? Yeah, you, you feel don't know. It? Make a Christmas save, I guess. Uh, she, uh, she has... Uh, yeah, it's a 15. She doesn't know shit. No idea. Uh, I do know how you feel. Oh, you do? Conflicted. Yeah, I know, I... Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Love that for us. All right. Eventually, Jax and uh, Kess make their way to the docks as well. And as you guys... So outside the uh, Imperial Trade Company's warehouse, um, you all go in together. And the inside of this place, you've, you've been there before, you know, clearing out a certain pest out of their basement, kind of, sort of, uh, and whatnot. Um, this place is busy. You can already see as you were outside, like, like ships being docked and being, like, offloaded with cargo and being put in the warehouses. Um, and Primus Dalastari kind of oversees it all, and as you walk in, looks at you... 
and uh, kind of like almost like floats towards you. Like it's not quite floating, but there's there's like a certain like elegance, but also a weird flow in her movement as she kind of makes her way towards you and just. Good morning. I'm uh, assuming that you're here to talk about uh, our potential future business. Yes. Indeed. We'll step into my office, and she'll lead the way into her office and, and closes the door behind you. Kaz sits down. So make yourself comfortable, and she points at like there's a couple of there's a couple of like sofas in her office, but also some chairs. Make yourself comfortable. Um, so have you? Thought about the uh, the business at hand? We, I think we're all in agreement that we're we're happy to do it. Though we were hoping for some more specific information. What do you need? You mentioned that you could transport us there. Correct. Well, not there, there, but close enough. As it happens, we have other business in Sigalia that we would like to. Bundle up in a night, nice, nice uh, neat package. Yeah, that Where makes sense. Bounce, are you looking at landing us? See, I was thinking about that. I'm with. I have a, you know, our, our trade company has a, an establishment there. I have access to a teleportation circle in the basement, and it's pretty central in Sigalia. It's not too far from the from the from the woods. Uh, you know, Where, three to four days. Would this this trade center be? No, uh, it's slap bang in the middle of the trade district. Of of Daramuth? Of Daramuth, yes. Okay. I mean, that works. Is there, to your knowledge, any real time scale on going to get this item? Not as far, not as, far as I'm aware. Like I've, uh, I'm sure people will, you know, the the, the artifacts of the of, of of the Sundering are, you know, oh, objects of legends, blah blah blah. It wasn't until uh, the Heroes of Exile found a few that we they people started to learn that they uh, really existed. But uh, then again, as to how many and in what way, shape, or form they do exist, uh, still very unknown. So, I don't think this item is on any one's radar per se so i don't think there's that much of a time sensitivity to it it's just the sooner we have it uh, the, the sooner we can work on the project we have with it but okay. uh, there's no real time sensitivity there no if we wanted to go and collect this item then transport it back to you while remaining in sagali for a little while is uh, that something you could work with or would you be willing to transport so, it well whether it, well, if the, whenever you're ready to come back or to send the item back, and if you guys want to stay behind, just go back to Daramath to to our office there, and you know, either come back yourself via the teleportation or give it to one of our uh, one of our employees, and they'll make sure that we get it. Uh, I'd rather, given the nature of the item, would rather it be you personally delivering it to me. You know, need to know basis about the the item and whatnot, but. It's not that I don't trust my employees, it's just the less people that know about it, the better, right? So, so basically, as long as we don't take the piss, we've sort of got free reign when it comes to yeah. the transportation. <laughs> yes, of course, as long as you... Uh, okay. uh, you know, don't take months, time. but... Uh, yeah, no, you know. no, 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 no. Um, do you happen to know whereabouts in the Whispering Woods we should be looking? <sighs> well, uh, that is a good question, because um, all I know is that the Whispering Woods are, are, a, are a holy site, um, pretty much the entirety of it, uh, dedicated to Aros, and there is a, a particular tribe of, 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 uh, of like giant kin, you know, furbolgs, that uh, do some pretty active work in those woods. Um, I'm not exactly sure where in the woods. Uh, you know, it's, uh, for all I know, is uh, the, the the defensive spells put up might make it so that uh, the place moves from one place to another. I, I have no idea. It. Um, I have a sense that once you enter the woods, things will just sort of make sense. Okay, interesting. Just. Uh, uh... I mean, make sure that you think about the thing you're in the woods for very long and hard while traveling the trails. Ah, that's easy. Don't... I've been to woods like that before. Does anyone else have anything they want to do before we head out? 
I don't even have any business here that we need to finish up with before Not we here. travel. Um, no. Oh, we all are good to set off. Yeah. Now wish. Yes. Cool. All right. Uh, do you need any supplies before you go? Uh, uh I mean, I think we're good. We, we. I'm pretty sure that we're good for rations. Uh. I wouldn't say no to any healing potions you have access to or anything like that. Uh, well, given your own business with us, I'm, I'm not going to give them to you for free, but I can definitely offer them for uh, a cheaper price than at uh, the magic shops in town. Okay. Uh, I mean, Sorry, this many, is that is gone, not me many, fucking with you, Soko. How many can you get us and how much is it going to cost us? Uh, let's see. The, uh, well, the uh, normal, greater, superior, even more. Normal or, or greater, I would think. Greater uh, will probably be 200 gold a piece instead of the 250 and uh, normal uh, 35 gold each. Does anyone want to get some healing potions while we're here? No, I just want to throw myself at the highest tower possible. Jax is just going to pale in the background, I imagine. <laughs> well, let me do the math real quick. You pay 1325 SoCo, right? Yeah. Uh, I, I think only... it's just about what I would have paid with her. No, you, you, you would have paid, like, if you had the same amount, you would have paid, like, 1,100-something. So, it's not that bad. You got one more grand. Kaz yeah. just kind of <clears throat> whispers to Dagon, how many, how many rations do I need? <laughs> <laughs> how much uh... you have? How long are we going to be... I, I just said... Like one, what signing one per day? We're gonna be gone. Maybe get enough for like a week or two to start. And if we need more, we'll just get more. But we're gonna be in the woods. And like that's Davian's thing. And I can also find food and water, like pretty okay. So maybe just get like a week's worth and then go from there. So I have like I have like ten. Oh, you're fine. You're good. Okay, cool. Okay, so I'm not great for potions at the moment, but I am also not great for money. Uh, Do you want to buy some? How much are your superior? Just curious. <sighs> Fuck me. Yeah, yeah half ass now. Oh god. Because if I can get that at a discount, I mean, it might be worth it. Uh, I still more than I have, though. Superior, I think in the normal shops, would uh, cost you anywhere between 750 and 1,000 gold each. Um, so for me, a uh, six fifty probably for you guys. Uh, I'm not being stupid, right? Jax hasn't uh, distributed the potions he bought. No, I have not oh. yet. No. Okay, uh, I'm gonna buy two basic potions of healing, which is thirty five gold each, right? Wait, I lied, Soko. Um, sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, for you, about fifteen hundred a piece. They go for about two thousand each in the shops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I heard six fifty, I was like, "Oh, I could actually do that." Now I can't. Now yeah. I can't. <laughs> I mean, I know they're expensive, but I mean, very potent. I mean, let's oh. be honest. How often do we use potions for anything other than? Someone's unconscious. At which point, it Does doesn't matter what sort of potion that is. Right? Hey, I raised my hand. I've used them Wait, once or twice. Did, was Brooks hey, in the potions? Hmm? Uh, Brooks, Brooks hasn't bought any yet. I want to buy two basic potions, which okay. you said they were thirty-five gold. Each. Um, I will buy one more greater from her. Okay. So, two hundred. Yeah. And Brooks seventy gold. I've marked it off already. You could hand it your potions. All right. Well, if you're ready to go, then uh, follow me. And she guides you to uh, a side room. And you can see in this room, there's a bunch of like, there's a chalk, a chalk circle on the floor, a bunch of runes being etched, having been etched to be permanently be a part of this circle instead of having to constantly like draw them, up, draw them down. <laughs> got the hiccups. I'm sorry. They're just there. And uh, well, if you would just uh, hold each other and step into the circle, and I'll uh, send you on your way. Mm -hmm. Okay. I stand between Davian and Brooks. Okay. 
Throw right. some Nigan. And she begins then... to uh, cast the teleportation circle spell. It takes I a few minutes. And <laughs> you all blink. And you see yourself kind of like you're holding each other, but you're kind of like floating in this like space between spaces. There's, a, there's like all kinds of like lights and, 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 and things going on around you. And you can see you're kind of like traveling past a bunch of gateways. And through one gateway, you see... Uh, a different, like a completely different plane. There's another gateway that leads you to this like big, dark city uh, with like thundering clouds above it. But you go past it, and before you know it, you Menzo, start or whatever it's called. zoning in onto uh, one of the gateways. Uh, and Daigon. Ah, oh, what? Hi, hello. Make a perception check. Oh fuck me. Oh shit. Just some oh. astral plane shit. Um, 17? For a split second. Oh, I don't like it. Oh, no. Split oh, no. second. <laughs> you look at one of the gateways, and you swear, <laughs> you swear, you see the exact imagery of this landscape that you've been looking for. Oh. But it's just a, it's just a flash, and you pass okay. that gateway and go, go towards another... And then you all <gasps> open your eyes, and you are in a uh, in a room, and in front of you, uh, hold on, give me a second. Um, you are greeted by a halfling with short brown hair, dressed in these like fancy robes. Uh, Welcome. The Primus told us that she would be transporting a group of Avengers this way at some point. So, um, welcome to Daramuth. First time? Anyone? No. No. Uh, good. First time for me. First time. First time here. All right. Um, welcome. Uh, not sure how familiar you are with the city. Uh, some of you are, some of you are not, so you'll be fine. Uh, very busy right now. There's a big, like, market going on right outside our front door, so there's going to be a lot of people in the streets, so... Um, also, um... The guards seem a little on edge because of an influx of refugees that came in this morning, so try not to piss them off too much. Uh, and with that... Oh, gods. I thought you said the gods. No, the, no, 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 the guards. Where have the refugees traveled in from? I'm not sure. You'll have to ask them. Okay. <laughs> the, re the refugees or the guards? The refugees. The guards are from Dyermouth. The guards, yeah, no. of course. No, never mind. All right. Well, uh, follow me. I'll, I'll 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 guide you upstairs, and uh, and he kind of like just like hobbles up the stairs and and motions you to follow him. And uh, he opens the front door, and you are 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 met um, with a city a lot bigger than Eldilon. Eldilon is is a big city, but it's still very much like the first kind of like big city in a in a new. Uh, co new co on a new continent, so it's still, even for a big like metropolis type deal, very basic. Uh, you are in a trade district right now. The marketplace is bustling with people, and stalls are selling all sorts of good. People shouting, trying to bargain about prices. Uh, the scent of freshly baked goods fill the air. Uh, you can see the buildings and structures around you are all these like large gray stone buildings. You can see the guards looking at walking around, kind of keeping an eye on the place because this place is so busy. There's markets square. All colored with um, red armor with uh, yellow crowns emblazoned and blazoned on their chest. Emblazoned. Emblazoned. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Um, like though. And the city, you can see like down <laughs> the walls and some of the buildings have like banners with the same like red backdrop, golden crown uh, imagery as well. Um, yeah, you're in Daramuth. You're no longer on uh, the continent of Agrind. You are currently. In the oh, Empire. This, the Empire proper. Was this, this, was this the city where Dolgrim was a, a, a city guard? Was no, it, was no. it Dermoth? No. Oh, well, that was Morningstar, which is in this, oh, area, in this, in this province, but not yeah, in this city. Yeah. I couldn't remember. I was like, I want to ride into Dolgrim. That's what <laughs> <laughs> um, Yeah. So you are... The, the first thing you see is it's just like a very large marketplace, and it's all there's almost like an auction type deal going on. There's like this big stage, and then on the stage is this guy just like yelling about a certain goods, and there's people like raising their hand whenever a, a certain amount of gold is being mentioned. Oh, we have 35. The guy raises his hand up, 40 gold. The guy, there's like almost like an auction going on of like yep. these like wares, 
Does this happen regularly? Is this like a, like an annual like event kind of thing? Uh, well, those that have been in Darmouth before, yeah, Cass and I have that. There is a weekly. Uh, oh, this is a weekly thing. Auction. Okay. Yeah. I I signed to Kess. Hey, remember that last time we were here and we were both kind of drunk and we thought it'd be a really funny idea to try and auction me off, pretending I was just like a really large exotic house cat. Yeah. So basically, what they do, what they sell what in the doing these fuck? auctions, is like. <laughs> When new shipments of trade goods come in, the more expensive things, like, um, uh, you know, no, nothing that is like, oh, prime priority goods that people need to live. It's more of like the more luxury goods. So like, oh, like an exotic house cat. Like that, but also, you know, <laughs> think about think about like rugs and that sort of thing. Just like of drawers made from wood that was gathered. Right. Like, yeah. Like, oh, shit probably, like that. Made of an probably at this time, <laughs> a lot of shit brought in from Agrid. I mean, yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. We see some real common shit us. as well. With that, like, oh, that's everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah. What do you guys down. do as you kind of like walk out of the? Uh, Imperial Trade Company's office onto the marketplace in the streets proper. Do we hear so, anything from the auctioneer that sounds interesting? That we might be interested. Yeah, what are they auctioning really? off? Uh, <laughs> if y'all want to keep an uh, ear out for that, make a perception check. Yeah. Why not? I would like to hear what. I don't, number, not sure. I don't want to hear what they want. I just want to hear what the number, last number that was showered out. <laughs> the last like number, as in like yeah. all, like like yeah, bid amount. Yeah, last bid. Forty-five. Let's go 55. I rolled it. <laughs> 55 for the man in the back. Uh, do I hit 60? And the bidding continues. And... <laughs> Is that good? Did you get that out of your system? <laughs> oh, I knew if I didn't, I would be here for ages. I'd love an auction. Okay. You can get some real of good bargains. We can right, come back. It, it's every week we can come back. Um, oh, so those who, who did perception checks, what did you, what did you roll? A seven. 10. Not great. 10 and a 7? <laughs> <laughs> Ten and seven. Uh, you're not sure, but you look at the stage, and it, 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 like, it seems to be some kind of like pff, painting of, of of something or yeah, someone. Uh, painting? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't want a painting. <gasps> uh, <laughs> an animal or something. What do you What do you guys do? So, I suggest that we go and either buy or rent some horses, and we travel. On the main roads up to Clerk's Refuge and get to the woods that way, because we're then... doing woods first. Well, I'm. Th uh, as, um... I thought we do that I, last. I think we just have to go back. Just I mean, because I'm fucking stupid and I didn't actually oh. look at the map. Where where is the where is we... the tooth in the, on the map again? Not you. Either way, we're going out of our way directly oh, west of Darmouth. Like, I... west, yeah. We have to go out I... of our way at some point. I signed a cast for a minute. Oh fuck. We didn't ask about how we're getting back, did we? We did. It, oh, we did? Don't okay. Yeah, it's all sorted. Don't worry. Okay, I sick think, brain is hard. My I, head hurts. We, I think, <laughs> weirdly, I want to go, like, in the till Stonefall and then just go right back up. So yeah, I agree. Across and then up. The thing is, right, to me, in my brain, out of all of these, place. which should be our priority? Yes, I want to go see my family. Yes, it would be nice. Oh, uh, Whispering Woods is by Whispering Woods is by far our biggest priority. However, yeah, it's the one we should to... do last because yeah. I do not have to carry the item with us for a long no, time. Same we with the go, tooth. We go to the Whispering Woods. We get yeah. the item that we're not going to say loudly in public. Yes. We then bring it back to Darmouth on our way to Natiel and then Stonefall. But, but I'd rather we go back with it. Go back well, with it when we're done. We can just. Go to the. Well, also did stress that she'd rather it be you guys bringing it to you her personally. Yeah. yeah. But but if, I think, if you really needed to, you could. Give I think it to going someone. to Till because basically, no matter what, means going oh. to Till Stonefall, correct? Because yes. we're, that we're doing the drop off. Order we need to do things. That 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 is a hundred percent. It just depends if we're doing Whispering Woods first or if we're doing Whispering Woods last. I say we should Whispering Woods last. I vote last. Yeah, I mean, why because not? Then, because then we can travel through, got any more supply shopping. If we get hit with our supplies, we can go back to Darmouth to resupply up for the Whispering Woods. I'm fine with whatever. It might be slightly longer. Do. It's a longer journey. But I think we want that item to go with us last when we've not got anything else on us. 
when I, I suppose my brain just says it doesn't make sense to go all the way back down to Stonefall and then back up. I mean, yeah, it's insane, but... Regardless of the way we go, it's all fucked, but... I don't yeah. know. I was not, maybe... When I suggested we go to Stonefall, I didn't necessarily expect it to be this soon. Won't be that oh, soon. We're going oh, to the be a problem, or...? Are you the... feeling awkward about going home so so soon, and you don't have enough time to prepare, and... No, we don't know how long we're going to take with this tooth thing. We could be ages. I just... Need to plan I'm so sorry that you suggested back. going home and then weren't ready. We can't we just not we go, you know. That. We can't just not go. There are other people well, for... we can give this tooth to. No, but it's no. funnier to go to Stonefall though, because yes. it's you live there. We're That's going dickhead. to Stonefall. That is decided. <laughs> and, and I'd expect the same treatment Stonefall. if we ever went to the kingdoms and we went to my hometown. <laughs> my hometown was nearby. We would go there. Right, well, we'd let's have to fucking to a different plane for my one, so. It's gonna be quicker if we get either horses or a cart or something. Oh yes, we get uh, horse and cart. Or, I believe, <laughs> Mr. DM, there is a, there is some carts that run up along the main road. Right? Yeah, there's like a, um, what's it called? Horse, caramel and pepper. There's like a horse and carriage service that just like brings people from one place to another. Like a a is there like an Asus <laughs> rental or? Hmm. Is there, a, is there a cart rental? Case? You could. Uh, there's also stable, so you could like just rent a cart and horses yourself right. without having a driver. That, that's also a thing. Question: like... Would it be faster if we just rented horses in general over the cart? Uh, no. Um, the whole thing about like using horses and stuff while traveling in the Indies, it doesn't necessarily shorten. Like, it doesn't make mean that you travel more distance a day. It's just it makes it more comfortable, and you're not knackered when you get ready to go camp. Because, like, the horses need breaks to rest up, like, every couple of hours or so. Yeah, we'll be they going need to eat, they need to drink. Pace. So, like, yeah. on, like, a miles per day uh, aspect, you travel the exact same, whether you're on horseback or walking. It's just Got it. for your characters. Comfort and energy levels. They're a little more comfortable and a little more And rested. you need to replace your shoes less. Yeah. I would say tinker. that we probably... Uh, in fact, Dutch, the cart service, does it also run up to Cleric's Refuge? Yeah. Okay, I would say that we're probably better off just paying for transport than renting, because we're we're traveling on main roads anyway. It's not like we really need to deviate. Uh, yes, but to we're the not going to be back we... here eventually, so it's not probably worth buying one. Yeah. No, I would. So there, there's a there's a carriage service. We don't have to rent our own. We can just pay someone to transport us. Which. What are the price comparisons is... on this? <laughs> Do you have no idea? You have no idea. I would like to go over to um, so the, the carts. So, like, as you guys kind of, like, leave the trade district, I guess, and go into the city and figure out what the fuck you guys are doing. Yep. Um, <laughs> can I get some perception checks? Sure. Oh, anyone right. that's, anyone everyone? that's kind of, like, looking around and, and oh. look, kind of looking at their surroundings. Oh, absolutely. Natural 20! Oh, shit, okay. Natural 5! Nice. Oh, that's, that's so 13. 13. 19. 10. 19. 10. 13. 18. 18. 18. So 28 total. Uh, the majority of you, except for those that rolled like 10 or lower. <laughs> I fucking rolled 10. Son of a bitch. Uh, you kind of see this group of, of, of clerics, uh, four of them total, dressed in blue and white robes, similar to what Father Ackle uh, and his clerics uh, wear uh, with with arrows, uh, arrows is like uh, uh, iconography, uh, you know, decorating it. All seemingly in a pretty heated argument with um, this 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 larger uh, purple tiefling dressed in red plate mail with golden finishes, crown emblazoned on his on his chest, emblazoned. Fuck, large broadsword hanging down from his waist and a shield on his back. Um, and you kind of catch this part of the conversation, this tiefling addressing the four clerics. I understand that the problem, and we are working on it, and the deal falls under Daramoth's jurisdiction, so me and my men, are, uh, our top priority right now is make sure the refugees are all safe and have a roof over their head while we send a troop to investigate, and the clerics are just rabble, 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 uh, upset. The deal? Yeah. That seems to be what he said, yes. Uh, excuse me. Uh, the tiefling kind of like 
turns to you, uh, Jax, and... I, sorry, citizens, I'm dealing with something pretty important right now. Uh, what is it you need? Uh, uh, it can oh, be quick. I was wondering what happened in the teal. What well, going on? I don't really know exactly what happened, but uh, we had a wave of refugees uh, arrive early this morning uh, and, and more trickling in since. Uh, th these clerics here speak of an invasion of devils, but I don't know what's going on until my men go and investigate. For now, I need to make sure that those who are wounded are being treated and the people that come in have a roof over their head before I can even think about sending people out that way, you know? It's, it's, and, well, the, and then the clerics just will chime in. Hi, Father Adam. Eric, speak true to the temple right now. He saved us from sudden death. Oh, it is your lucky day. Is it? Well, yes, we were planning to go be a business in the till. Um, oh, and well, we are of the adventuring sort. I don't know if that sort. means it is my lucky day or your unlucky day. Well, we are of the adventuring sort who uh, happen to help locals like you. <laughs> Right. Yeah. Um, but okay, relax. Um, right now I'm a well, little busy. How about uh, I don't the, know if the thing we have, you know, from Aldalon, that like it's, uh, those like emblems that we had. Mm -hmm. I'll fucking just sort of take that out. I mean anything here? I don't um, need anything here. But... I don't know what that means, but yeah, it's, there we go. Um, but yeah. God. How about, I'm a little busy with these people right now, and there's a lot of things I need to do. Uh, can you meet me at the keep in, say, two hours to talk about it more, so that I can make sure that all the refugees have a place to stay, and those that are need in, in need of medical attention get that before I uh, start? Because, well, truth being told, we are a little bit, you know, short-staffed, you could say. So <laughs> I'm not saying no, I just I need some time to deal with this first, and then I can, oh, yeah, no we can talk. Uh, in the meantime, if, I don't even know what's going on, but if you're planning on going there, maybe talking to this High Father Attic would be a good shout. He's being treated at the temple right now. Uh, <laughs> and then he turns okay. around and goes back, like, and these clerics are just like, oh, like, they, they, they are, like, panic, upset, but also are like, oh my god, how dare you not immediately drop everything you're doing and drop everything in the city to go save Natil, yeah. that kind of thing, where, like, realistically, that's not really, that's not really possible, you know, uh, but they don't understand, because... Also, also, no, it's fucking, oh, no, it's geez, like, different, different yeah. kind of guy. Like, <laughs> exactly, exactly. Um, and the, 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 the tiefling, as you, as you got a better look at him, by the way, you also saw that uh, his, a little older, uh, definitely a little more experienced, a very broad shoulder, this like red scar uh, running down one of his eyes, like down his cheek. The other, the other eye being like bright blue. Um, definitely, Thanks. definitely wearing the, 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 the city iconography, so definitely a guard. You're not, you're not sure about his ranking, but he seemed, seemed important. <clears throat> what the fuck are you all doing? What? What do you why, mean? Are you, why are you getting us involved in shit? What do you mean? Well, this is I our shit. We turn it into a payday for something we're going this to do. This is our any. shit. It's, what do you mean? Yeah, it's I signed a this cast to say, yeah, it's, di it's directly related. Like, the teal devils, devils, the thing payday. is a tooth of Asmodeus, father of devils. Like, we you just know? fucking sneak in, we get the thing, we fuck off, we let them deal with it. That's not what's going to be happening here, bro, because the second we get anywhere near that place, it's probably going to be guarded by millions of devils. You know that by fact. Come on. We need to make the payday out of it or something, or at least make it seem like we're doing good here. Plus, this way we can get information ahead of time on what we're up against signing to kiss. I will repeat it and also say, um, and we're gonna get in way easier if we're, you know, sent by important guard people. Fine. Okay. Well, we're what, having... the plan's what? And it's here first, so... Alright, so we're yeah. going to the fucking guardhouse in two hours? We're yeah. gonna go to the temple first. They probably need my help there. I was gonna say, or at least can, I'm going to go have... there. Part of the Bills party to go there, part of the party to get temple. our travel accommodations ready, Maybe. uh, cart and stuff like that. We could really do with a private room somewhere. Well then, probably we not actually one. in the temple. Not in the temple, probably. Because they're gonna be full of those, full as they say they are. Why, but... why, why do you need one? I don't particularly want to go to a guardhouse as me. Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, wait, why? Because he's a fucking thief and shit. Is yeah, he's just a bad person, really. So look at him. I'm, I'm we're on his home turf. So. <laughs> Didn't he kill a guy? A, a renowned bad person. I, I just in my journal write uh, 
alias criminal uh, and in small letters like Lord Helden Wreath and show it to Jax and then like remember underline. <laughs> That's not here. That's probably... The problems we have are. I our... think my dementia's hey, kicking in. There are a lot of people. <laughs> Number one, there are a lot of people in this general area that I have stolen from. <laughs> Number two, there is someone in Ferber's footing that has committed murders looking like me. Not oh, yes, but Ferber's me, footing is not part of the. I still yeah, in the Empire don't now. particularly want to risk that. Yeah, that's fair. Outside of a place where the the well, established can leadership yourself. can vouch for me. Number three, if I ever come <clears> back <throat> here and want to do something, I don't want the guards fucking... I know that guy. Hi, Brooks, how are you? Fuck that, no. It's almost like you can disguise yourself. Which that's, is why that's what we're saying. Wait, Which is why I want a private go. room. Yeah. Somewhere I can sit and fucking disguise myself. When you, okay, before we maybe came you in. go with Team Temple. Because I didn't expect us to be wandering into a fucking guardhouse. Oh, and also, fair. also, Temple's bad. Um, <laughs> who's just oh, yeah, in the I have room there for... You're going to be feeling a bit oh, sicky mm -hmm. going in there. We probably, probably can't get a private Find room the in the temple because they are housing the injured. Well, I mean, we I can go with books somewhere else. And is there, a, is there a storage back? room in the temple? In most temples, is there a fucking storage room? Probably. Yeah, I don't fucking, I don't fucking tavern do. or something. Sure they'd rather... I'm sure they'd like you not to be on hallowed ground in a time such as this, as you would like to be on hallowed ground. So why not just go to a tavern and... Yeah. Ah, uh, uh, yes. Always a good look. Fucking go into a tavern to rent a room for half an hour. No, I just... No one said it has to be for half an hour. Just oh. go in, ask for a room, go to the room, fucking change up, leave. I mean, the... Just you know, hang a thing on the door so they don't. I'll just, I'll just go with up. you, and then it will look like totally fine. I love how the first thing that came up in like Brooks's head is like, "Oh, rent a room. You just go for a piss, man." Like, <laughs> <laughs> like that bathroom. <laughs> I don't know what the Durham public toilet situation is. You got sure a house somewhere for you. Imagine, Mr. DM, <laughs> please elaborate be. in great detail how the public sewage facilities work in Durham. Decent. It's uh, the, the biggest city uh, in the empire. <laughs> uh, it's also the capital city of the empire. So if there's anywhere with a good a good sewer system, it's gonna be Daramouth. Is there? Why did you challenge him for this? Uh, sorry. Is there public toilets? Well, not out and about, but most well, taverns exactly... and. Shut the fuck up. You're asking. I'm answering. <laughs> Shut up and listen. Uh, most taverns or or shops or what or houses in this city, uh, as with most bigger cities. We'll have toilets and whatnot, facilities like that for people to use. Yeah. I've been to Daramath a couple of times. Toilets typically made out of, uh, you know, like like a porcelain type vibe, uh, kind of like kind of gray, made made gray to match the city architecture. Uh, it's not like, you know, flush kind of toilets, but it's like you pull a rope, shit gets emptied, gets dumped into the sewer system, goes under the city through the sewer pipes to get to a certain, like, dumping place. Do I need to go on? Because I have the sewer system. Like, I I, I know how it works, man. Do you need to know more? Like, I could. <laughs> that is sufficient enough for now. Okay. You, although you're more than happy to DM me the intricate details <laughs> of, uh, of, of Darren's sewer system. Like, if you want to, if you want to world build, then go. Uh, I've been to Darren's before. You guys stop Long shit talking short, to each people other. Can, people can poop. In the city. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> Pog pooping in Daramoth. Oh. We can poop. That's like their that's mother. That's, that's, that's the tourism <laughs> Yeah. That's the tourism. Like, their, their tourism board is big on the, like, toilet. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Rather than rather than the people of um, Segalia traveling to get clean water, the people come from towns all around just to shit in Daramoth. <laughs> <laughs> Like okay. the fucking cues to get to the loser. Uh, anyway, 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 you've been to Darmouth before. I've been here a few times, right? Yes. Do I know of a quieter tavern? Hold. Yes, the quiet tavern. <laughs> well, you know, you know, obviously you have the red dragon, but that's like, that's a big one. That's 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 like the tourist trap of the city. Yeah, I don't. Oh, is that like the one, one with the? Drink is that the one with the hundred drinks? Yeah, it's like the wall of hundred yeah, no. drinks and Good shit. Place. Yeah, yeah. I I don't want to go somewhere that's tourist trappy. I want to go somewhere that's like a local pub somewhere, probably where we would have stayed last time we came. The dog and rat. 
Um, the yeah, white stack. Like maybe a little shadier. The gold, the golden lion. <laughs> Opposite the red line. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're rivals. Uh, the the, the emperor's arms. Few, I have a few uh, <laughs> written down. Hold on. Prince of Wales. Um, you know of a tavern called the Happy Hand Axe, which is a little more local. Uh, it is uh, nestled in one of the residential areas of the city. Uh, it's it's where like local people, people that live in the area, tend to go to instead of like the overpriced taverns that you'll find in the trade districts around the city. Right. Happy Hand X is my. I know. Name. I know a very quiet. Alias. Nice. I know a very quiet local vibe tavern. I think we'd probably get away with just going there, buying a couple of drinks, using the restroom, disguising myself, and that's fine. So, people are fucking off to the tavern, and then, what, we're, where are we meeting, uh, where are we, not the tavern, the temple, where are we meeting after that shit? The keep. Are we, are we just all meeting at the keep? We're not meeting at uh, the Yes, I, I would assume two go to the tavern, two go to get travel accommodations, and two go to the temple, no? Travel not, accommodations? Yeah, that was. Uh, he was looking at whether it would be better to hire someone to take us around in the carriage or if we oh, just right, rent right, right. Mr. DM, would I know whether it's cheaper to rent a car or to make a history check to transport you? I don't win these. Uh, oh. That's a nine. That would fully depend on the length of your travel. Um, okay. The shorter distance you reckon will be better to just like hop on a cart and get someone to take you. Longer distances you reckon will probably be cheaper to rent a cart and horses ourselves and do it that Actually, way. Actually, now that I think about it, will there be carts running to Natil or will we have to rent one if there's shit going on there? Well, it's true, actually. We probably will have to rent. We'll probably have to rent for this stretch of the journey at least. Okay. Mm. Uh, yeah, sure. Um. <clears throat> All right, so which okay. one, wh which, who of you are going to the temple and who of you are going with Brooks and avoiding the temple? I'm going to the tavern. I'm going that, to the that's what I've got from that, right, Brooks? You don't want to go to the temple, like, because we're at pukey? I... Uh, Brooks go Brooks pukey? Brooks against the idea. It's more that he wants to go find somewhere to disguise <laughs> himself and... So yeah, okay. Brooks does not go into the temple. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> okay, is so anyone going Simon with Brooks instead part. of going to the temple? Me. I'll go with Kess and Brooks. Okay. Oh, cat. So we'll split the party that way. Uh, Daigon, oh, Kess, and Brooks. Adventure. Three and three. Uh, make their way Jax to the... Wait, Jax, where are you yeah. going? Yeah. Get a horse and cart for everyone, because everyone else is going elsewhere, I guess. Um. Okay. We'll do that first, then, I guess. Um, Old man wanders streets alone. Let's go. Where, do you have any idea lost. where you're going, Jax? Nope. I'm gonna look for signs, and if that fails, find a guard. You'll see a bunch of signs that like indicate districts, but not like oh, he, the horse and carriage renter router. Like that's not a sign. Mm. All right. <laughs> I'll, find a, I'll find a nearby guard. Oh, car hire place. No, you're okay. <laughs> uh, greeting citizen. Like guards, I can just I can maybe go ask one. Mm -hmm. yeah, sure. Excuse me, sir. Greeting citizen. And I was just wondering, uh, where's your uh, horse and cart rentals at? Oh, well, we'll have one uh, at each uh, gate, actually. So there's one at the north exit, one at the south, one east, one west, and, and a couple more kind of like between the exits, but uh, we have a lot of them. So depending on what side of the city you're going to be leaving, the prices are all the same as they're all part of the same company. So it's not like one cheaper than the other. Oh, uh, perfect. Uh, thank you so much. And I will head to the <laughs> west gate. Okay. <clears throat> As you head towards the west gate, it's pretty. It's a bit of a. It's a bit of a trek. Like definitely like a half hour, forty five minutes walk to get there. As the city is quite big, and uh, um, you know, you're kind of navigating streets that you don't particularly know. Yeah, I'm just like um, generally heading west. <laughs> yeah. So eventually you get there, and there is uh, a stables there, and you can see that there's a lot of guards at this particular gate. Just like, and you can see this like, not like a large amount, but there's definitely like a steady stream of like trickling 
refugees still coming in uh from from that direction so the guards are very busy with that uh at the stables you'll see you see like, uh, like six or seven horses still like in 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 a little field kind of kind of vibing chilling out uh some carts parked to the side of the the structure as well uh, uh, you boy uh, where's the stable boy. <laughs> what uh, where's the stable master for this location? Bad customers! As this man walks out of the... Comes out of the, the, the building. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. Like a human in his, like, 30s uh, comes out. Morning. What can I do for you, sir? Uh, I was looking... Um, do you have carts currently running to Nutil? Oh no, the transportation to Natil has been uh, put to a halt, given the influx of, of, of refugees and things going on there. Um, you're free to, to rent a cart and horses, but knowing that you're going that way... I don't know if I particularly feel comfortable renting you horses now, but... And that's fair. What if... Um... Sponsorship deal, dude. Tell him we're going to be heroes. Tell him, tell him we'll be riding in on one of his uh, carts. We're actually um, the king, the the um, head guardsman uh, is actually going to be sending us out there as like an advance party to take care of the problem. Um, and of course, if we were able to take care of the problem, mm -hmm. you know, your horses and cars would be able to flow again to Nitiel. So, kind of be doing you a service, no? No. Well, Is your good word right going now, to feed no me and my son? Right? Don't think so. How much would it to be a rent a cart? A uh, cart? Assuming you would need two horses? Uh, yes. Uh, all included, uh, I'll include the feed, uh, five gold a day. Done. All right. How long are you going to be renting these horses for? DM, how far is the travel to not deal? Uh, judging by the distance uh, that you can see, like on the on the map, <clears throat> it's it's about it's about a two and a half day trek to get to not deal. Um, if you're following the main road, that is. Let's say six days to be on the safe side. Right, be thirty gold. All right, I will hand him thirty gold. All right, uh, I'll make sure that everything is in order for you. Uh, when 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 would you need them? Um, probably within the next two hours or so. That is perfect. Uh, takes me about an hour to get everything ready. So, uh, yeah, just come pick them up when, you, when, you, uh, when you're ready. All right. Thank you very much. Pleasure in business. And then I will head towards the keep. Okay. So you head towards the keep. Honestly, by the time you get there, it'll be about time for the meeting anyway because of uh, your navigation into the city and, and the walking time and all that. So that's that taken care of. Um, team Temple. So that would be Davian and Lazarin. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, you guys, um, following the signs, it's very easy to find the Temple District, as it is not far from the Trade District. Or There's several Trade Districts in the city, but the one that you're at is, uh, is not very far from the Temple District. And as you enter the district, you can see this large towering... Uh, chapel, um, it's massive, way bigger than, than the temple in, in Eldilon. <clears throat> uh, you can see, uh, on the temple itself, a bunch of depictions to all kinds of, uh, all kinds of deities. Uh, you have Aros, but you also have a statue in, on the front square dedicated to the father of the gods, Keldalar, which is also what this continent is named after. Um, you see smaller statues to Aros, Melora, and you can even see a smaller statue adorned with some ravens, among other lesser deities that you're less familiar with. Um... As you're getting close to the temple, you see that there's a lot of clerics running in and out of the temple. Uh, people still being brought in with with all kinds of injuries. Um, and as you approach, this this younger 
elven uh, cleric approaches and looks at you. Oh dear, don't tell me you were injured as well. We've already got way too much going on. Oh gods, um, th th what, what can I do for you? No, we're not injured. We're merely here to help. Um, and I'll kind of have like my my holy symbol out. Anyways, oh, above. okay. Um, here, here to assist, but I hear that uh, one of the, the higher priests got hurt. And yes, uh, about Father the attack. Eric, I think his name is. Um, it's, he's resting. He's, he, he has been treated, but he's, he's resting in one of the rooms. Uh, do you have business with him? I, I, could, I could see uh, if he's yes, if able we, for, to, to speak to you. If he's able to speak, that would be... All right. Um, follow me, follow me. And she'll like motion for you two to follow. And as you get inside the temple there's beds all over the place like this what normally would be like a main hall with like a with the where like at the end there would be a cleric like addressing a crowd everything has been moved aside to just make room for beds there's beds everywhere with with people on it and you can see people that are wounded from like minor cuts and bruises to people dressed in armor with limbs missing or even worse uh, the variety of injuries is is pretty insane you can definitely tell that those that uh put up a fight got severely injured like missing limbs like innards hanging out at places it's it's not a pretty look um and you kind of have to like sidle like kind of like <gasps> sidle between some beds to get to <clears throat> where this young elven cleric is guiding you to uh, but eventually you're being guided to uh to a room and and she just she just goes all right uh, I'll, I'll go inside real quick just wait here for a second and opens the door goes in you hear some muffled voices before a few seconds later she opens the door. Um, he's awake. He, granted, he's weak, but he's willing to talk to you. Um, come in. And she'll, like, open the door for you. I'll enter. Uh, and as you're inside, uh, you can see uh, an older elven individual, skin very pale. Uh, you reckon... Given his elven nature, probably a little bit of that is because he's elvish, but definitely also pale as in lost a lot of blood. Um, you can see that he has um, green eyes, long white hair, cuts on his face, uh, and a large burn going from his left cheek all the way down his throat, down to his chest. Uh, that burn looks pretty pretty fresh. Um, and he, he looks at you. Hello, I'm, I'm afraid I'm a little out of it, but uh, Susanna here told me that you wanted to speak to me, so what? what is it? Who are you? Oh, I am uh, a Lancer and I am a cleric of Joaquin. Um, the Golden just Lady, I see. Information on what happened. Here it tells well, I... <laughs> I wish I'd... I wish, well, in hindsight... Uh, <laughs> were foolish for not having seen this come, but um, not so long ago, my clerics found remains on the outskirts of town. Uh, didn't figure out who they belonged to, but we found remains, and they seemed humanoid, at least, and we wanted to give it some kind of, like, proper, you know, burial, at least, not to have the remains strewn about the outskirts of Natil. So, we found something else, and he kind of, like, looks at you, you can see him kind of like, he kind of like swallows and kind of holds himself back. I, I don't know if I should share, to be honest. I don't mm. know you. By any chance, was the body part of a deity? That was one thing, one way to, to dress him. Yes, we've been, my uh, priesthood has been made aware. And we are... Oh, well, in that case... To... Yes, in that case, we, we, we found a tooth of a particularly powerful devil. Decided to keep it to make sure it wouldn't fall in the wrong hands, and, you know, but, and to keep it until we figured out what to do with it. But uh, in the dead of night a couple of days ago, uh, an army of devils appeared out of nowhere and began to slaughter the entire town. We tried to evacuate as many as we could, but in hindsight, we probably should have just... just Buried that thing deep beneath, uh, far away. But we just we, we didn't want to take risks, and unfortunately, that have cost us our town. And you can see, like his eyes are kind of like tearing up, and he regret. He regrets his actions. 
you won't, you'll never turn no. That's what's going to happen. There's always risks, especially when trying to do the greater good. Turns it directly down. But we're here to solve it. At least, try to. Experience and, uh, you know, clearing out More a, a, a demonic, have... devilish, fiendish invasion, because that would have be helpful. experience with dealing with problems of deities. Oh boy, um, okay, well, I don't know if there's any survivors in the, in the town, but when I left it, I made sure that at least my clergy was out safe before I left, and I, I'm pretty sure that town belongs to the devils now. How oh, many, roughly? Are we talking thousands? Hundreds? Ten? Hun hundreds. You see Alasan's face, like, as a guy sort of turns to Davian, Alasan's face fucking just drops. It's like... Oh, he just shrugs. Like, they seem to be seem to be led by, 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 by a particularly big one. Um, uh, obviously, I don't speak their language, but but I was able to pick up certain things. Um, but there was this big, four-legged creature. Uh, it's hard to describe. Uh, would I have? Would I recognize anything like that from just giraffe. hey devils? Make a, a religion check. A big four-legged devil. It's pretty vague. Yeah, like yeah. we'll continue to describe. Yeah. Big four-legged Zerging. creature with kind of like a, a, an elongated bottom half of his body with a tail, with a torso, broad, lot two very broad arms, and just head with two horns and flames. Scorpion oh. uh, King. What did you fucking idiot? <laughs> Religion check, you said? I got that, ten. Just, that just sounds like demonic centaur to me. Yeah. Like, elongated quadruped uh, body. You're not sure. It could be a variety so. of things. But, uh, I, d I don't know exactly what it's called, but it seemed to be the one in charge. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know what their plans are. Now, I mean, they have the truth. They have the town. Like, what more could they want? I just... I don't know. And I don't know how their army is going to react if you, you know take down their leader, whether they scatter or get more angry, I have no idea. Oh, it's... Devils are hard to read when it comes to what their intentions are. But I will assume that it's probably not as bad as you think it is. The worst probably not happened yet. Well, I, put, I, I, I put up a little fight, and this is what I got rewarded with, bearing this mark for the rest of my life. Well, the fact that you made out alive means it can't be that bad. <sighs> I wish I could say the same for well, so many others. I'll really say that, to be sure, but mm, I don't know. I suppose it depends what their intentions are, like you said, because if now they're amassing, they, they, they could be amassing uncontested right i have they, a theory got no pushback but i have a theory i think that someone planted this this tooth for us to find so why would a tooth of, 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 of a powerful devil like that just happen to find its way to the outskirts of a small town They've been there for centuries. Artifacts like that are scattered all over the place. Well, I think that that tooth is the only way they were able to invade. You think there might be a chance the tooth either opened up something, or they used it as a way to open up, or that the tooth itself summoned them, as it had still some power? I don't know, but I think someone, something... <sighs> I don't know. I, I feel like for, for an invasion of that size, the, the, they've had to have had, they've had to use the truth in some way because the portals started opening everywhere, but, but the majority of their forces came from, the, from inside the temple, which is where the tooth was being kept, so... Is, that's not a coincidence, right? Uh, well, there are no coincidences as far as we're concerned. 
Um, I suppose the question is if we retrieve the tooth, will they disappear? Or do we have to deal with the devil's head on and then. Depends if the tooth is a. Pull the tooth. Anchor, right? To this. I don't know fully about right. planes. I, I don't know what I've half read. But I assume if it's using as an anchor, we can move it. If it's in a ritual, we disrupt the ritual. Or it, we're going to. We have a bigger problem on our hands. And we might need to get some allies involved. Truth be told, it might end up affecting our approach. Mm, I, I don't know, know unfortunately. I d but also, my knowledge of, of, a... of devilish creatures isn't. Doesn't go much further than, you know, small exorcisms and and knowing that whatever it is, their plans, their their intentions can't be good. Well, father, you know what they say: know thy enemy. Maybe a little so. less time dedicated to the gods and a little more time learn how to deal with this shit when it happens. Hey, all hindsight, uh, yes, of course, but <sighs> yes, yeah, I suppose you're right. Mizel, that's the important thing here. Well, a lot of people we appreciate, do. Yes, we appreciate your time. Um, Good luck. Um, I, yeah. I doubt there's any survivors left, but if you do happen to find some, you know, do your best to, to save them, please. Of course. And I will... Can leave. Okay. Follow Elazar out. So uh, the the the, the, the female cleric kind of door. follows you. So you're 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 planning to to go there? Well, hopefully. Sort of the plan. You're a lot braver than I am. Or a lot stupider. And at that point, you'll hear like suddenly someone starts like bursting out in screams of like just agony and pain, and she goes. That's my cue, and she. <laughs> is there anyone off. who does seem to be in a lot of pain, and there's like sort of they're like quite far down this waiting list? Uh, sure. Make a perception check. Oh, uh, dirty twenty. You see that there, there's definitely a queue as people are kind of like getting situated, but even in the queue, there's clerics like tending to people. But you do see that there's like kind of due to how busy it is and how cluttered the spaces right now you can see that one person has kind of sat down in the corner against the wall and as you kind of like you're walking by as you're heading to the exit and you can hear this like very like weighted breathing and he's holding his like stomach and yeah he's not he doesn't look very good i uh, yeah i'll go up to him and just sort of feel like a resting arm is like careful there and sit down carefully and cast the wound on him <laughs> How do I look? And he kind of like moves his arm to show you, and you can see that there's just a, a a tear in his stomach. It's going from left to right, clean open, and like like part of his like bowels are hanging out. And he's like, well, oh. we'll put that back in. <laughs> uh, the, he heals for he heals for nine on my cure wounds. You can see that some of it kind of like adjusts himself. He still definitely has to like hold it in a little bit, but like some of it adjusts itself. And well, at least advise me doesn't more time. <sighs> yes, sir, I can. I just fucking like grab a Lazarus and scruff of his fucking uh, tunic or whatever and just like scooch him out the door. <laughs> I just sort of have this over and they're like, that'll do okay. Sorry, I would love to have more. <laughs> I'm sure you would. Let's fucking go. Yep. I don't have time for every man, woman, and child who has a small cut or has been disemboweled, admittedly, but we've got bigger things to deal with and there's people tending to them as it is. I mean, it's just. If I could tell one person, I'd at least feel better about myself. Yeah, but then think about the rest of them that you can't help. Think how they feel. <laughs> no, why don't you mention up. that to me? You just, you don't know. Just the one person I have helped. I feel good right. about that. Uh, are you guys going towards the keep? Yeah. Just yes. uh, right there. All right. Uh, I suggest ass. then that we take a break here and then we'll come back to the team tavern and then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll you know, that's what we'll pick up after team the break, tavern. if that's all right. So, yes, sir. Um, Thank you all so much for watching, everybody. We'll be back in a few minutes. Uh, Legitimine, thanks for the follow. Ecto, thanks for the 12 months. Ooh. Appreciate you. And we'll be back in a few minutes. BRB. Mm -mm -mm. Greetings. Hello. No, you
Hello, hello, hello. hello. All right. We are back. Thanks so much for sticking around through our break. We appreciate you all. All right. The Happy Hand Axe. Uh, what Brooks, a name. Daigon, and uh, Kess. Brooks guides you as he knows the way to, uh, to this particular tavern. And as you get there, it's about a 15-minute walk from, from the trade district. You, you go into one of the residential areas, particularly one of the residential areas that is a little, you know, not very fancy by any means. Like, it's just, you know, it's not, it's not the slums, but it's definitely not uh, one of the more expensive uh, places to, to, to live uh, in this city. And you get to a small, uh, like, open space with a well in the middle of this, like, square, I guess. Um, some buildings around it, and one of them has a, a wooden sign out front that says the Happy Hand Axe. Right, so we're gonna go in. We're gonna have a couple of drinks. I'm gonna use the restroom, and I'm gonna disguise in there. We're not going to rent a room for half an hour. Okay. Because <laughs> that looks suspicious as fuck. It does not. Yes, it does. <laughs> I signed a guess. He would know. He's done it a lot. If he's done it a lot, then that doesn't look suspicious. But not here. Is that signed or spoken? <laughs> spoken. I resent the implication, Dagon, but... Fair. Yeah, I was gonna say, tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> if you go with... Another person or multiple people and ask to rent a room for a short duration, people are going to make assumptions about what you're doing in that room and... Nobody rents a room for half an hour to nap. Well, yeah. I thought that was obvious. Okay. I <laughs> signed guess he acts, he acts like that's a shameful thing. When yeah. that is, like, what he does. Like, that's his whole reputation when we met him. Still is. I'm confused. She makes, she's making excellent points, and I'm <clears> not going <throat> to tell you what they are. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right, let's go in before this becomes an argument. I, again, inside, maybe we should be offended. Maybe he's saying he'd be embarrassed to think that he's renting room for half an hour with us. <clears throat> I'm offended. You shouldn't be. Why? That doesn't make any sense at all. Look right, us. We're great. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I really need to improve my my sign. <laughs> you know what the fuck is going on. As you, uh, as you go into the Happy Hand Axe, you can see that there's a uh, small uh, gnome uh, behind the bar uh, looking around. There's a couple of people in there that are uh, definitely people that uh, are partaking in some day drinking activities. What do you do? Uh, I will go up to the bar. Hello there, good sir. It's it's still morning at this point, right? It's like yeah. late morning. It's morning, yeah. You forgot about the time difference. <laughs> We're in a new continent now. <laughs> is there a well, time you, difference? You kind of go straight south, so really, yeah, like, yeah, I don't think there is a time difference, right? Maybe like, like at most. Like a couple of hours, maybe, but we're going... It would be earlier, surely, if we're going... Because it'd be, like, down and slightly west. Yeah. Whatever. There's no time difference. Logic. Okay. Cool. It's D and D. It's magic. There's no time difference. There's no time difference. <laughs> the fucking the area of the continent we were in runs on fucking Empire time. So exactly. I uh, I will just buy like a cheap drink for each of us. I'll be like two copper each. I'll yeah. I'll just get like a couple of drinks and I'll be like, uh, do you have a, a restroom I can use? Yes, of course. It's that door over there. I will go to the table. Mm -hmm. oh, so I'll pay for the drinks. I will go to the table. And I'll put down my bag. <laughs> and I will grab out a change of clothes and a disguise kit. And I'll go to the restroom. Okay. <clears throat> what are you going to try and disguise yourself as? What are you uh, What are you changing, changing about your look? 
Uh, so I'm going to swap to my black suit, the one that I had custom made. Mm -hmm. And then I'm using my disguise kit. I'm going to. I'm going to temporarily uh, darken uh, the <laughs> very short beard that Brooks has. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So that it's black, and I'm going to. I'm gonna I'm gonna make him look like a, a wood elf. That because wood elves can grow facial hair, right? Just not both of it. Yeah. So I'm gonna make him look. Typically, like a wood elf. elven uh, elven facial hair is just it, it's it's not very like bushy. It's very like thin, no. but uh, they grow facial hair. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so... make a. Seeing as this is well, uh, mm -hmm. what stat do you want it to be, basically? Because I have proficiency. Yeah, I'd basically. say intelligence because you're basically also gauging like whether or not this would fool anyone. So, yeah, okay. yeah. Make an intelligence check with your proficiency so bonus added to it. Just plus three for proficiency. Yeah. It's a natural nineteen though, so twenty. Oh, okay. Yes. Nice. Yeah. No. It does. Yeah. Looks good. Looks convincing. Uh, we'll go sit back down at the table, looking not at all like Brooks, but in a suit that you have seen Brooks wear before. I just sign, I, in sign language check if it's him. I just do the sign language, uh, sign language for tits and ass and see if he you knows <laughs> what it means. I will sign back. Yes, please. <laughs> I, I, I will sign back dick because- That was the three we learned at the same time. Tits, dick, and ass. It was either that or I was thinking what else did Dagan teach me? Uh, shall we yeah. go to your place or mine? <laughs> yeah. So I signed up to Kenny's. Yeah, it's him. <laughs> it's not. Your place or mine? <laughs> it's him. I tell Kev, I'm going to go to the... How long does it take for Brooks to, like, disguise himself? Oh, yeah. Do, do, do. Does a disguise kit specify? Probably not. But we'll say that it takes you, like, you know, longer than the average piss, right? Like, you're in there for, for like, say, like, 10, 15 minutes or whatever, making sure that everything looked good. Yeah. So, so you're in there for a fucking hour. <laughs> the barkeep looks looks at you. There's a slight look of confusion, but then he kind of just, like, I, does, as one, I walk does, one, does bar, one of these. And... As I walk past the bar, knowing that he saw me walk into the restroom and has now seen someone else different walk past, I'll just put two gold on the de on the bar and walk away. Grabs it, puts it in his pocket. When so. Brooks goes back, and after I've checked it's him, I tell Kess I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick. Okay. Okay. And then while I'm in there, is there any graffiti on this bathroom stall? <laughs> like, is it that kind of establishment or no? Oh, yeah. Not graffiti, but there's, like, people, like, on Drunken Nights will have, had, like, will have, like, carved... That's what I mean, yeah. Shits. Yeah, in, not like, the wooden, artistic right. graffiti. In, like, the but... walls, yeah. you know, with, like, a knife or right. something, or, like, with the daggers, like, carved, like, While initials in there, or whatever. On the back yeah, wall. I'm gonna use my claws and carve looking for a good time called Bruxley, and then go back. <laughs> <laughs> that's... That's that's beautiful. <laughs> All right. And you see Dagon leave the bathroom with a fairy self like very satisfied like grin on her face yep <clears throat> okay, <laughs> okay. Uh, should we finish our drinks and shall we finish our drinks and head off <laughs> we can do voice now too nice very subtle change of accent for it. <laughs> only a minor change I'm sure Mm. 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 I hate I it. Because I signed a guess, I don't like it. No, I hate it. <laughs> Dagon says she hates it. Understandably, it's not. No. I get it, but it's I hate not it. Usual. You sound like a Lazarin. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Believe it or not, I had this exact disguise written down with, in brackets. Sound like a, a bit of a dickhead, like a Lazarin. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. All right. I hate it. So Y'all finish your drinks. Where do you go next? Do you just go straight to the keep? Is there anything else you want to do? We have time they to want kill to. if you want to check some of the more 
shadier stores, shall we say, for anything that we need to acquire. Would I be able to get rid of my knife made of bone? <laughs> yeah. Would I know of somewhere in Darmouth that would take stuff like that? Like, or at the very least, would, we I, also know might. would I know a fence in Darmouth? Make a history check. Because I can't a fence store, wait. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> history? Yes. Natural 20, baby, for a total of Woo. 21. <laughs> um, yes. Funnily enough, if you know that this individual resides at the Red Dragon Inn, there's a man there called uh, Jason. He, Jason. Uh, <laughs> no. Listen, Jason humans have Rosa. normal names. Not every name has to be fantasy, guys. There's humans that live in this world. They have common human names. No, okay? Fantasy oh, uh, is the... Have have have, not everyone can be an Elazarin or a Kesslin, all right? I'm sorry, guys. The fantasy guys. is that he earns enough money to live happily. Exactly. <laughs> and is not depressed. I'm going to play a human named Mike as my next character. <laughs> yeah, Dave. you could. Guys, can we just have a campaign where we're all Dave? Just Dave. Uh, I mean, my backup no, character. We're, we're different. We're different. We're different versions of Robert. <laughs> Rob, Robbie, uh, Robert. You, you have. Bob, you you've Bob, had, you Bob. have history with him, and you you've sold Bobby. some bits and bobs to him before. Bubba. Okay. Bubba. I don't know if a normal store would be interested in such a thing, but I know a man who doesn't ask where things came from. Excellent. May also have some. Mildly offensive things that other places might not normally sell, but excuse me. Bless you. Let's go there. That sounds it fun. does involve going to an absolute tourist trap of a tavern. Uh, I mean, that's fine. I will and we've definitely to been dragon. to the, that tourist trap tavern before. Mm. When we were here, we've <laughs> definitely been there. Cass would have fucking loved that place. Uh, all right. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta look up something real quick uh, before you go to the, or as you like go to the, 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 um, Wait, but did you not go to the bathroom during your break? Yeah, you got Ew. me. Oh god, that's gross. Uh... <laughs> Drinking my own urine. Caught me bear grills. Uh, actually, next was, he, he didn't actually drink his own urine. Huh? Nothing. Um, anyways. <laughs> drink some you guys have never read the, the oh story. God. When you were children, you didn't, like... Obviously, Kess won't, because she didn't have a childhood, but... The, like, the your characters never read the story of Gare Brills. Gabriel. Oh. No. Famous explorer Gabriel's. Yeah, we didn't have books where I grew up. Life. <laughs> <laughs> As Davian, you, are you Gabriel. the way mares to his back? <laughs> Has Davian ever drunk his own piss? Bushcraft. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or the uh, other, I can't fucking remember. Did Koiba just, like, just like get loud for anyone else? No, I no, yeah, Koiba leaned forward. I think I, think oh, I just right. got loud and then forward. Start fucking. Peeking, bro. It's fucking. Oh. No, my mic is fucking weird. Time for a new one. Whoever did break it earlier today, so. True. It just screamed really loud. <laughs> because ports have lost them, I'm upset. But. Pompey. Oh, stop. It hurts. Bridge. England won, no England won. <laughs> yeah, if England lost bridge, that's not the point. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Call back. Go bridge, Pog. I mean, I go sad. bridge. While we're walking to meet mm -hmm. this fence, I'll tell Kess what I wrote in the bathroom. <gasps> That's amazing. I thought Aww. so. Now I really hope someone yells his name really loud. Assuming all of this is signed between the two of you. No, she's just saying it. <laughs> just mine is. I feel like I'm missing out on the conversation again. I'll you sign are. him if he asks, if he asks before you hit if he asks, tell him it was a Lazarus name that I wrote. But it was his. Okay. Uh Dagon wrote a Lazarus name in the bathroom. Huh. <laughs> what saying what exactly? If, if you, you want a good time. time. Yeah. 
Looking for a good time. I mean, I doubt a Lazarin would frequent such a tavern, but... Call a Lazarin. <laughs> Hello? Do you, do you put his phone number down? Do you put phone number down, too? <laughs> like, what? Make sure you have the right area code. Joaquin. <laughs> 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 like, in D&D, that just means ask around. Find right. it. It's half the challenge. 1 800 Golden Lady. So you, get to, golden uh, lady. <laughs> you get to the Red Dragon. Um, it's a bigger tavern than the, the Happy Hand Axe for sure. Uh, you can see, like, behind the bar, there's this wall of, of 100 different, like, taps. Um, slightly busier oh, yeah. as well. Uh, it seems that with the markets going on and the auction, there's a lot of people abusing that fact as an excuse to day drink. <clears throat> uh, make a perception check, Brooks. Fuck me. My rolls have... Ooh, I've rolled a natural 19, a natural 20, and a natural 19. Jesus. Uh, so, Is 21. Uh, okay. Uh, you look and you you, rec you see this, 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 this man... Uh, like in his 40s maybe early 50s uh sipping on a sipping on a drink uh you recognize him to be the the man you're looking for would i know if there was a way to let him know that i'm in the no sort of thing you leave your car door one car door open what did you roll in free history again it was like super high right it was a natural 20. oh right yeah yeah, yeah you do for anyone right? it was a 21 but only a, total but only a 21. Uh, it's, uh, asking for the meal of the day. Oh. Okay. This is starting to sound more like Dogging by the second. I will bring the other two and I'll go sit down at the same table or booth. Can I help you? I was wondering, actually, if you knew anything about the meal of the day here. Yeah, it's all right. He gets up and he just walks upstairs. Thank you. I assume we follow. Indeed. See, it's not weird when he does. But when Hang on, you what do it, said, indeed. <laughs> when he's impersonating a lot of you all, Do you all three of you follow? Yeah. That's uh, you follow him upstairs and he opens a door into a into a room and shuts it behind you. All right, what can I do you for? I mean, I'm not your cat. I have stuff to sell. Alright, come to the right place. What do you got? I have two knives, and I will present a knife made of human bone and the dagger with a rat skull attached to the pommel. A magical? I don't think so. They're just creepy looking and people don't like them. He kind of like flips them up in the air and catches them and like tests to see how, they, how they're weighted and whatnot and... Yeah, I suppose I'll take him. Uh, the bone one, I don't know, maybe two gold. The other one, mm, gold piece. I mean, they're not really... I don't think I'm going to be selling these anytime soon, but they look kind of cool, so, I, you know, if anything, I'll just keep them for myself. That's what I thought, and then I tried to sell them, and everyone was like, no, those are creepy. Yeah, I mean, you don't go to a fucking shop with this shit, are you? Mm, apparently not. Yeah, so I'll give you three gold for the both of them. Okay. Total. Anything else? Oh. Nah. Any new markets or anything? Any... Anything else? No. Do you want to buy something? Mr. What'd you got? Hmm? As a reminder, the mind swap alcohol I bought at Freaky Fridays, two people, right? Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah, Soka wasn't here for that. <laughs> oh, true, yeah. Uh, I've got, I mean, what is it you're looking for? You're looking for, you know, what's the budget? And you're looking for, you know, fancy magical items? Or are you looking for, uh, just, you know, consumables? What, what magical items do you have? Oh, I've got some weapons, got some some armor, I've got some, uh, some other shit. What is most interesting that you have? Huh. Glad you asked. And he opens his coat, and you can see that there's nothing there, but he opens a pocket, and he reaches in, and like, he goes, like, elbow deep in his, like, inside pocket, and pulls out this, like, 
cloak out of this like all from this like inside his like jacket pocket this cloak is uh pretty nifty as it uh is made from the finest well i don't know if it's the finest but you know sales pitch in that the bird feathers oh well, it's a feathery cloak and what it does it uh grants you the ability to fly for a you know duration Sick. i can already do that <laughs> that's it back all right well what about this and he whips out uh a short sword a short sword which um is like red tinge to the blade um pretty sturdy looking looking pommel and 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 a handle yeah any of you use swords sure sometimes We're... The door's shut, right? For this rumoring? Yeah. We have people in our group that uh, use short swords. Huh. Look at this. And he goes, Russ. And the blade. <laughs> Do you like that? How much? Let's have a look. Return of the king. <laughs> One million gold. <laughs> uh, bah, bah, bah. One million <laughs> copper. You have to convert it yourself. <laughs> Dude, I expect you to deliver me a wheel of barrels Go to the copper. nearest bank and get me one million copper. I mean, nah, no, knowing fucking this black market shit, it's probably going to be Ethereum and Jax is going to be... <laughs> <laughs> oh, everyone thinks Ethereum's fucking no longer used, but in reality, it's the fucking currency of the... Talk about Electrum? No Ethereum? Yeah, so, oh, yeah, fuck Ethereum. <laughs> <laughs> he said Ethereum, <laughs> and then I said Ethereum. That, I thought that was even funnier, though. His blade said... is about 1,100 gold pieces. Yes, no, maybe so. Mm. A lot of money for something that we don't know if we're gonna use. All right, mm. puts it back. Begins like shoving I it do back have in his pocket. Something that might interest you. What? I have a couple of things that might interest you. Actually, go on. I'm going to pull out one bottle of the mind swap alcohol, booze, and one bottle of the fire breath alcohol. More booze. Mm. Not kind the, of thing. Not the normal booze. Mm -hmm. This is from a very small brewery off continent. Is that so? And this one, you and another person drink it, and for a while, you're them and they're you. Oh. <laughs> so if you and I were to share this, for the duration, I would be walking around in your body and vice versa. Oh, now we're talking. What about the other one? This one, you drink it, you shoot fire out your mouth. That is pretty cool. Oh, well, how many, how many, like, weapons? how many times? How many times can you shoot fire with it, Dutch? Uh, oh, we probably a time-based thing. So as much as you can exhale in X number. No, of it's more of like a how many like drinks can he get from? I think. Oh, okay. Did we say that these were just like single use things? I, I think we did. I think we said that they were single think, use things. I think, yeah. I think it was single use. I think you said it yeah. was. But I don't have extensive notes because Brooks, in character, didn't ask for the mechanics of it. Mm hmm. Oh, uh, I mean, what are you looking to get for them? I mean, it's hard to gauge the price for them because they're not for sale. Anyway. Yeah, I mean, given that they're consumable, right? It's like, you, you drink it, you're done. Uh, they don't last. Um, okay, you're not wrong. They are however. effective. I'll give you that. They are effective, right? Don't get me wrong. But given that it's a, uh, you know, once you're done, you're done kind of thing. I don't know. For While he's mind... talking, I signed a Kess. I mean, technically, the effects of the mind swap one could have permanent lasting ramifications depending on what they do while in each other's bodies. Just saying. 
he'll look prompt at, to translate. <laughs> he'll, he'll, he'll look at you and say, Unless he oh, knows sign language. <laughs> well. Anyway. Uh, um, I'll, I'll translate. I mean, definitely mentally scar someone. But other than that. <laughs> I don't know. I mean. I feel like this, this, this mind swap thing pretty good if you you know you need to get into a place that you're not don't have access to but you know someone who does you know swap out the drink there you go so uh yeah pretty good i definitely have a buyer for that um as far as the uh the other one goes i mean pretty fucking okay. useful as well think of, think of how many places you can take a drink that you can't take your weapons that is true that is true i'm willing to give you 30 gold for the mind swap, 15 gold for the other one. Do you have anything interesting you could trade for them instead? Do you have... Oh, I've got this! And he goes into his pocket again. And rips out this, like, black blanket, almost. Okay. He says, stick it to a wall. Set it on fire. Oh. Fire blanket! No. It's in. It's in. It's in. Black powder blankets. So one of Neurox's black powder as blankets. Like a blow a hole through a wall. Not I just didn't take down the entire no. fucking wall, mate. No, Brooks, please. I just signed a cast. Oh, no, no, don't let, don't let Brooks have that. Don't let Brooks I have that. In trade for these two? Absolutely. You're yep, not allowed good. to keep that. No, I'll hand you. The black powder blanket takes useful. the potions yeah, or the, the bottles of booze, sticks the bottles of booze in his like never ending pocket. All right, pleasure no business. Anything else? Dutch. Hello. Is burning bush illegal in Segalia? In Segalia? I mean, it's one of those, like in the empire as a whole, burning bush is a drug. It's like, it's. You don't do it out in the streets, but it's not like you're gonna get thrown in jail if so you're caught Dutch. with it. I'll we're tell you where you can much. get we're really Dutch. good burning bush. <laughs> we're Dutch. Just north yeah, of here. Much. Thermogar. <laughs> like, anything heavier substance-wise, definitely illegal. Yeah. Burning bush is like, oh, whatever, you know? People drink, people smoke weed, whatever. Is it, is it one of those things you can just go into a store and buy? In no. Paris? No. Okay. It's like you can't buy it legally, but unless you have absurd amounts, the guards aren't probably gonna like yeah, it's literally take that. you in for it. Yeah, it's literally that. So, fortunately, if you're a hero here, of exile, oh, yeah, or you're a hero of exile, do and you, you have to have either diplomatic immunity, <laughs> the actual <laughs> diplomatic immunity. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm aware that this is gonna be two very weird asks. Holy uh -huh. oil. Yeah, I've got some of that. Burning bush. Holy bush. <laughs> <laughs> Not the plan. Oh. Yeah, I got yeah, I got both of that actually. Um how much holy oil do you have? I think I have like, four or five vials of the stuff. How much do you want for each? Uh fully depends on what the DM's guy says. Hold on. Uh... <laughs> I'll look at the other two of these rifle around his pocket. Given where we're going, I think this might be useful to have. The, I mean, oh, yeah, but the for the holy oil, yeah. The burning bush, not so much. But have, you had, have you had burning bush before? Absolutely. <laughs> That's the confidence of someone who definitely has never had it, but been in the vicinity of it. <laughs> like, I could probably sm I've been near a bush that on fire. My <laughs> best okay, friend I smoked like. it. I figured. Did it speak to you by Worst any comes to worst, I can either give it to a Lazarin to chill out, or give it to me when a Lazarin gets himself killed. <laughs> I like how you assume a Lazarin wouldn't just get more paranoid on it. <laughs> <laughs> Brooks has never yeah, been paranoid, so... <laughs> He's or just instantly like, wipes out. go alone. I can't oh, get you high. Uh, for the holy oil, there's 25 gold a flask. Fuck me. I mean... Yeah, it's pretty I, expensive. I, I, you, I get, you, get, you, get, you get three uses out of a flask, though. That makes any I difference. nudge Brooks and, like... And point to my coin purse. As far as burning bush, uh, I don't know. how much are you looking for for that? So you just quick, you know, you want to have a quick one just to take the edge off, or you're looking for like a bit, a bit of a bit of a bundle. Uh, enough to last us for. I mean, how much have you got? Enough to last us for 
a trip or you know a week oh. or two, but see you on trip, all right? <laughs> Enough that that I'm not gonna run out anytime soon, but less than what's gonna get me in trouble. Well, to like I don't know, fucking twenty goals. Twenty goals, twenty gold. A gold to go. I'll pull out my hand axe of thunder wave that I still have yet to sell anywhere. Oh, what's that? This is a hand axe with the ability to cast thunder wave. Oh, that's nice. Let me hold it. Be... I'll let him hold it. Okay. Holds it. Does the same thing with the dagger. Kind of t tosses it up. Catches it. That's pretty nice. Um. 100 gold. Treasure it for the, the burning bush and... How many flasks did he say he had of holy oil? 25 gold each, he said he had... Four or five, he said. Four or five. Uh... <clears throat> I mean, I'll take all the holy oil you've got. I'll take the burning bush. I'll give you the hand axe. How much extra do you want? 45. 25. 30. 20 and a bottle of poison. 30. Hey. <laughs> I roll persuasion check, actually. Ah, yes. No bargaining check. Quite like a bottle of poison. 16. Mm. 16? I got a natural mm. 10. Mm. 30. <laughs> All right. Thirty gold, it is. Right. I'll put forward the thirty gold. You exchange the items. All right, is that it? Uh, unless Dagon has anything she wants to get rid of, or you want anything, nope. Miss? No. Nope. All right. Anything? Do you want to buy anything? Nope. Cash, you all done? You don't want to fly? Yeah, I'm good. Whips out the cloak one more time. Don't want to fly. Do you know, when, when we come back in town, we're, we'll ask our friends, and when we come back in town, if you still got it, we uh, we might take you up on that. All right, you know where to find me. All right, now piss off. Off we piss. <laughs> <laughs> you guys head out, and uh, this time, you know, by the time you get to the keep, it'll be about that time to have a meeting with uh, so the guardsman. Holy oil. Mm -hmm. it's, not a, it's not a fucking D&D Beyond. No, I know. Apparently, holy oil just doesn't exist, but, like, it basically... It, it, it's, it's holy water, just as an oil, right? Like... Yes. Or poison coats. It's like, thing, it's like if, ho if holy water was po was ap appliable like a poison would be. Yeah, because the oil is. makes it able to be applied to a surface. Mm. Yeah. I so, assume... whatever damage it says holy water would do if you use it on things... Convert that to radiant damage that your weapon does in addition to the normal weapon damage. It's 2d6. Yeah. Not bad. Yay. That's pretty fucking good. 2d6? Okay. Yeah. For holy water to splash it, yeah. Crazy. Uh, basic poison is 1d4, I think? Yeah, poison's not a lot. Yeah, I mean, two to six. It has the small chance of being poisoned. In that status. case, in yeah. that case, it would only be one uh, use per uh, per flask, though. Okay, that's fine. <clears throat> All right, so you guys eventually, everyone kind of gets to the keep after doing whatever it is that they did. Uh, you gather up front, and uh, the group is a whole once more. Well, you see Diagon and Kess approach with a man you don't recognize. <laughs> I'm sure they put two and two together. I'm assuming I so. I only yeah. assume... That is... I probably shouldn't say his name out loud. That would ruin the whole thing. No, nah, this it? is George. Right, yeah, we George. Need to get along the way. <laughs> I'm not sure Georgie I'm a fan Borgie of the name George. Empire. We left the other one behind because he was George. annoying us. So we oh, just oh found someone new. Oh, yes. I, I'm clearly wearing like a suit, just a different suit. You've black. seen the black suit before. Did you steal our old friend's clothes as well? What the hell? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, he went off into the into the bathroom, and then we just ran off with his bag and everything. Well played. Nice. So rather than having Brooks 
disguise himself. We have we just George got someone else. Brooks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> we all quite done, shall we? <laughs> I oh, I hate that. Fucking hate right? that. He sounds like a last room and it sucks. <laughs> Not that you Tim sounded Mimic like a last room sucks a last room. It's just... Trust me, you know. his voice has existed long before you. Don't take I it as flattery. I doubt it. <laughs> I mean before our introductions. I don't mean before you were... I know what you meant. ...conceived. Excuse me, strapping guard. Uh, we're here to see your captain. <laughs> oh, uh, several of those running around. Can you be a little bit more specific? Uh, big, the big red one. tiefling. He was purple, wasn't he? He was. He's Thanks, purple. God. He's red. He's purple. No, he's purple. Am I tall? That was red. Yes. yes. Yeah, you're... I'm going home, dude. All no, right. No, no. <laughs> you are. Okay. You are. Like, listen, looks like looks like the dementia's kicking in early, old man. <laughs> and, uh, red My tiefling. fucking dementia's kicking in. God oh, damn. Yeah. Any, I don't think we have any red tieflings. No, no. But... Purple tiefling, red scarf. <sighs> Captain Righteous. That's, that's right. the red That's the one you're looking for. Uh, yeah, he's in. Right. Just... Mm. His name mm. is Righteous. Oh, my God. <laughs> tiefling naming convention, baby. I know, I know. <laughs> oh, left just... Um, yeah, just follow me. I'll, I'll take you to him. He, he came in uh, not too long no, ago. That was me, Da. Me, Da <laughs> left just. Da. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. That's my joke. Fuck you. <laughs> it was better when you That was a good one, dude. Fuck. That's, that's, uh, <laughs> that's a good one. Shit. I've never heard that before. <laughs> Uh, all right, so you get escorted in into the keep. Uh, a lot of people running around. Uh, there's like a, a this big ass queue for like the front desk where there's just people bitching and moaning about you know. Oh, we fucking neighbors planted a tree uh, two inches off a property onto ours. Like, but there's also people with actual real issues. All yeah, kind like of just like. Refugees. Yeah, like refugees, like just yapping and yapping, and there's a lot of commotion going on. Uh, top of the stairs, at the end of the the chamber. You already recognize and see this purple thief that you spoke to before, and he looks down. Right, so don't mind the mess. That's not his voice. Don't mind the mess. Uh, come upstairs, uh, take it to my office, and we'll talk. Okay. I guess we'll go Off we go then. Yep. Yep. That's cool. So he opens the door and then, like, lets you in to this, this, uh, his office. Uh, he sits down. I would offer you a seat, but there's none. Um, how how tall is is the teeth? Like, are they are they pretty tall? He's a tall boy. Yeah, he's very broad, a very boy. tall. Like like a like six foot eight. Like he's very tall. I'm, oh, is he always my height? Oh, very I'm tall. gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna start hovering. So like I'm eye level. Your eye level, nice. <laughs> All right. Um, Can relate. First things first. Who are you, and why are you guys even remotely interested in potentially throwing yourselves into what I hear is literal hells on Earth? It's what we do. I am Alasim Junius Minol Dumba. I oh. represent... Oh, God. <laughs> We've talked about this. Uh, we do not <laughs> represent <laughs> this group. Uh, the clerics of Eldalon. Um, Eldalon? Joaquin. Oh, is that the, 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 the thing you showed me earlier? Was uh, some kind of symbol? Mm -hmm. Yes, for Eldalon, yes. Right, I'm sorry. Um, I, uh, I was supposed no, to... Funny story, I, I was supposed to... Uh, be stationed there, but then uh, good old Kron made the cut before I did, so uh, uh, no, different timeline, perhaps it would have been me that uh, you've been working for. Well, well, well judging by well, how things are, are, you're better off here. <laughs> yeah. right. Anyway, uh, continue, sorry. We have been told of troubles in that town, and as a cleric, I have been sent to uh, help. Make a deception check. I don't like this use of I so much. You are not in we... charge of this. Why Deception. don't you just let Deception, because you're lying, about. sir. That's what we're talking about. I'm telling the complete truth. Uh, 17. <laughs> 17? Yeah. Oh, all right. Well, yes, there is definitely trouble in town. Um, still have yet to talk to uh, the High Father, who is apparently the one to talk to about this. Uh, did any of you go? Uh, did, uh, anything you could tell me about what the fuck is actually going on over there? Well, it seems like they had uncovered an item recently, um, one of a demonic nature, and they thought to try and keep it safe. 
the demons thought, or devils, whatever the fuck the one is. They uh, thought otherwise. Demons is hells, devils is abyss, or is the other way around? I'm, I'm I think not it's the sure. other way around. Oh, I... you should know. What's that supposed oh, to mean? Well, it's obvious. <laughs> I wasn't born there, I was born on, born on this plane, I don't know. Yeah, but I mean, you know, still have some, you know, be in touch with whichever side it is, surely. Not really. Uh, so, we're interested in going so, there. Um... We're... <laughs> We're there to try and help recover that item and put it somewhere more safe and secure because we heard oh, word that this item got out of control. All right, well, I mean, uh, story adds up. Um, so, what's the lay of the land like in the town, did he say? Fucked, basically, to put it in the easiest of terms. Um, seems overrun by. Straightforward, I, I, I appreciate that. Ah. No point in sort of beat around the bush about it when you can clearly see what the troubles are. Yeah, judging by the variety of injuries that I've seen walking through the city gates, it's, uh, yeah. We don't know what the devils are doing, we don't know what they want, what's going on, but we do know that they uh, either came from or want this item. Hmm. So we're there to get rid of it and trying to stop them. Alright, well, uh, so the... F the six of you are going to go there. Do you need backup? Or do you want to, like what's what's your plan here? Here's what I would recommend. Mm. We'll we'll probably be going to the town, just the six of us, but setting up something <laughs> within a mile radius of the town, like a you know, uh triage center field hospital, whatever you want to call it, for us to send any survivors to might be a good idea. Well I it, it's all fine and well, but that would require time. Uh, At least get your guards up and, you know, on alert. Yeah, I, I plan on sending, sending a squadron of guards that direction uh, as soon as I, 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 I rally my people and, and figure out who to send and how many. Um, how how oh, soon I, do you think you're going? Um, probably pretty soon. Today. Probably today. We're, time is of the essence for these matters. All right. Um, okay. What I'll do is uh, I'll try my best to have a group of guards be sent that way as well. It might not be today. It might be tomorrow. No, that's fine. If anything, it's probably better but, if it gets um, too close. Because if, any, want, if anything, yes, yeah, a, a few miles out just to have a bit of a perimeter, try and kill anything that tries to come out that isn't, you know, a citizen. But, uh, you know of more devilish nature. Uh, set the perimeter so at least the, the, the threat stays there and doesn't trickle out into the province, into other directions. Uh, I need about a day for that to kind of be set up and prepared, but... Well, if you are planning on going now, just know that there is no backup for you if you're going that soon. So be careful and... Well, if there's anything you do learn uh, and, and, and can, can pass to me or my people depending on how long you plan on staying there, would be appreciated. Of course. Well, um, I'll probably fire a report for you to read over. Sort of that way to make sure everything's done properly. Yeah, sounds we good. We were also uh, thinking, since we'd be doing the city a favor, you know, kind of doing the heavy lifting for you, that, that might be a little... Um... You're asking for a paycheck? Y yes. I, um, yes... Of course, uh, the typical fee we pay mercenaries that we hire, uh, or adventurers, whatever term you prefer, who cares? Mercenaries. Uh, mercenaries, there you go. Blades for hire. Um, we typically offer them uh, on missions or, or, or uh, things that they do for us. We, we offer them five gold a head per day that they spend uh, on this. Uh, would that be a reasonable fee? Yeah. That'd be perfect. All right. To to be much? clear, five gold a head, as you mean, like per person, not per head you bring back or whatever it is you kill, right? Yeah, yeah, just... Oh, yeah, that's so fine. Like five gold per person per day. Yes, yes, yes. Is that including our travel time? Yes. Sure. Whatever. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> Yeah, that's no, 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 no. Right the contract. 
I think the verbal contract will be enough just for today. For now, the man is Fuck quite are busy. You? Inside check. Is... Are you okay? Lazarus being impersonated. Well, if I if I break this, uh, the, who am I going to arrest myself? Like, well, on. exactly. You know, it's no point in pointless bureaucracy now, is there? Come on, we've got time over the essence. Oh, like, inside oh, check. Your favorite check. thing. Oh, oh, yeah, okay. sure, inside check him. Mm. Fuck it, whatever. <laughs> pointless bureaucracy is his favorite thing. Don't even lie. Oh, that's. Great. I'm gonna get Hawthorne to go over and hot side him again. I, I, I rolled, I rolled a twelve. Lawful evil, lawful evil, <laughs> chaotic evil. He's running the spider webs. Roll a charisma check. Oh, well, I the charisma, charisma save, right? Yeah, 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 I don't know. Let me check. Charisma I only rolled a twelve, save. by the way, on my charisma inside. saving throw. Yeah. Oh, oh, my... Persuasion for that yes, one, uh, clips. Yeah. Oh, cause only fucking two rolls. Hang on. Yeah. So the first, I'll do the the. Pers yeah, twenty-two. For who? You don't learn his. For my line. for my insight oh, check. Laura's one. Um, for you. He beats me. <clears throat> Is this a Christmas saving throw? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Twelve. Ah, oh, you just saved. You still... How are you feeling? Oh, paranoid and distressed. <laughs> no, it's still him. It's fine. <laughs> Good to know. Or... What? Hmm. Oh, n n inside joke. I'm not paying the imp, by the way. He's not. What about the imp. bird? What about the bird? Feels inherently no. classist. No, we're helping this. Well, you your friend just them. assumed I knew everything about devils and demons, given my heritage. Didn't so you knew everything. I just figured you know the difference. Yes. Yeah. Can only apologize for them. They um, hide most recently to help support me. Uh, so, oh my god! Uh, <laughs> I punch. Um, I no, I don't punch them. So. <laughs> Have a fun day. We will get a dance report to you as soon as we can. And I leave. And I leave fucking quickly. Is, is, is okay. there an open window? I want to fly through an open window. I fucking hate you. Uh, <laughs> you saw there is an open window, but window. there is a window in the room, yeah. I'm going to open the window and fly out. Okay. okay. Um, I just leave. Like, she do that. I'm gone. But before I even see this happen, I hear the window break and I just assume and I'm out. It's no, she opened it. She just opened it. I, mm -hmm. I still assume it's broken. Captain Righteous, is yes. he currently still in his full armor? Yes. Which doesn't expose his shoulders. Correct. Okay. Uh, oh. It's annoying. <laughs> Wait! Hold on. The one person in the room that maybe should have been heart sighted. Hold on. <laughs> Listen, what's it say? What's it say? I can say. Oh, never mind. Your brain. Never mind. I, I can't do I the thing. Care. I thought I could. I never mind. mind. Using things usefully. <laughs> I will walk out. Oh, good luck. We'll see you shortly, I'm sure. Does she always leave through windows? No. She's just um, in anyway. a I, I think it's a new thing. All right. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Uh, yeah, good luck. I'll get my people going as well. Like get, get, Getting them ready and prepared for tomorrow. Get me the fuck out of this building. <laughs> Kaza's just doing a loop-de-loop -loop outside. <laughs> Okay. Where is the last one? Just like, like where's the last one going? Just, I'm just gonna go out, and then if I see fucking Kessler, I'm gonna try and signal down. But get the fuck down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's definitely some guards looking up that are like, Kess, 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 what are you doing fuck? up there? Having fun. Kess, for the love of God, get How the fuck down now. Just get down, please. Ah, oh, that's a crime. <laughs> Well, so, so eventually, all you all gather out front of the keep. Um, Kes eventually comes down. Kes? Yes? When did you learn to fly? Uh, like a, like, like a couple days ago. How? I signed to her. Is that about the same time I learned to do the, the face thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My dad told me to do it. Cool. Nice to see your dad actually have. It's quite nice interesting. Nice to see your father ha actually has input in your life for once. <laughs> I mean... I like okay. him. I like him. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, Elijah. I wonder oh. if there is I a... I punch Elijah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you punch me in the face or just like shoulder or... In the stomach. The <laughs> stomach jab. Oh, like, like, in, the the in the throat. Right in the middle of the chest. <clears throat> I'm deserved. That's fair. Yeah, what the fuck? Oh, sometimes you just got to lie. <laughs> frick. Yeah, but like, not like that. It fucking worked, didn't it? 
anything would have yeah, worked. The it. truth would have worked. These people need help. Yeah, that's not fun. That's <clears> just <throat> sake. Jax, did you manage to procure some form of travel? I, I did, yes. Where are we uh, going? We have a cart waiting for us at the West Gate. Yeah, I'm really flying in that go. direction. Oh I'm gonna God. fly after her. <laughs> what? Well, how light is, is it? Is it twilight? Right now? Yeah, yeah it's, it. it's morning. Is like it? people see you, and I like, son of a bitch. <laughs> hey, so you just see Kess flying with fly nothing, and then like... some fucking guy with rocket boots on shooting past. You're gonna, have to, you're gonna have to use your dome if you want to fly how... with the game. <laughs> <laughs> how, how fast right. flying? Yeah, your man. My, you can see a lesson doing things like I could do it in twilight. I probably do it in day. That's why I do the thing. And last time, I kind of like try to step up, and I just kind of like do like a big step. It just looks really fucking awkward. I'm like, no nope, fuck. Like, like, like fast as fly, fly as fast as my walk. You get to the top of the stairs, and you think there's another step, and you go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Or so being with an escalator slightly too fast, and just like. Stop. The rest of you like, make your way on foot to the west gate. Like plebs. They are aware that we're supposed to be. Keeping things rather reserved at the moment, aren't they? No one said that. Low profile doesn't really... It's never gonna happen. Us? Let's be honest, it's never gonna happen. Low profile. <laughs> Got a five foot fucking bird. A if fucking eight foot it. blue man. If I, I can manage it, it, then surely we can... You can manage it even out of disguise. I, who On the fucking subject cares? of which... I will pass Davian a vial of holy oil. I'll rub it all the body. I believe this should coat a certain amount of ammunition for you. It'll be the same as whatever poison coats, right? Yeah, like one weapon or Wars. like four projectiles or whatever? Uh, three. Three? This should be enough to coat three of your arrows, but it will do... A reasonable amount of damage to something that is hellish in nature. If you're adding it to your inventory, I added holy water and then just changed the name of it. Because there is no holy oil in DM. Yeah, to yourself. I'm, looking at, I'm looking at oil flask to see if it has the same amount in it, but I think no. it's a little bit more, I mean, so probably not. Just do holy oil because it's the same damage. It's just yeah, you, yeah, yeah. you only get three arrows. <clears throat> So don't miss. All right. So you lot gather at the west gate. Uh, Jax and Kess, because you can fly directly there. I guess will there be there a little bit earlier? And you can see that there's a horse. There's two horses and a cart, like already uh, prepared. And the man that bartered with you just before uh, approaches you, Jackson. There you go. All ready for you to pick him up. Pick him up and uh, get going. Thank you very much, sir. We'll see you in, uh, hopefully five days, but perhaps six. What are the horses' names? Whatever you want them to be. Uh, this one's Chester, and the other one is, um... Pisa. <laughs> George. We already have a George. You're not there. <laughs> we have two <laughs> And you can't talk. <laughs> <laughs> True. While the rest of us are walking over, I will ask Diagon if she plans to use her staff in fights. Oh, she wants to hit things. I, I, I hold up two fingers, trying to imply both, and like point to fists and spear. Uh, Y'all are not okay. That got me, bro. Okay, you can't talk. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking I'm right. born today, boys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sorry. <clears throat> anyway, and, uh, can a monk use an oil on their on their fists? I could use it on my spear. I know you can use it on your. Well, it's not a weapon, is it? <laughs> Uh, well, I mean... I mean, I have knuckle dusters, but... So I'm fine. Just, that it doesn't go on bare fists. Fine. But oh, you but I can have a bear, she's a cat. She's not a bear, she's a cat. Oh, you're gonna pick a fight and argue with me? You sure about that? <laughs> it's, it's a joke, man. Take it all away, man. It's no, a it's joke, a joke bro. bro. It's, it's a, a joke, joke bro. Take it all away, bro. Take it all away. I will it give... Just raptures the... <laughs> <laughs> Keldar just gets fucking snapped. <laughs> like... 
<laughs> no, Onu oh, just decides to like swipe them and fly away with them, and then he comes back. Yeah, and just, like that. Just fucking just Majora a, Mask I'll Moon coming to, down. Like, I will give a vial to Diagon as well, and explain Whoa. the process of applying it, and explain that it only works on her spear. Cool. Okay. And, uh, okay. You also get to the west gate, and you already see Kess and Jax with uh, two horses and a cart or carriage, um, waiting for you. As nice. there's still this like, it's no longer like a stream, but every like few minutes you do see a couple of people that look a little, a little rough enter the the city limits. <clears throat> uh, who's going to be driving the cart? Davian, I assume. I assume Davian. Sure. Nature man. <laughs> That's what they call me. I'll sit up alongside him. You guys can. Jax. Yes. When we, <clears throat> when we get to Natil, are you intending on using your gauntlets? Should we come into combat with? Uh, generally, it's my best option. I will. Throw him a vial of the holy oil as well. Alright. Alright. Um, By the way, we're no, on no, no. the topic of dishing things out. Um, as Jax reaches into his bag, please don't waste these. I am not looking great for money currently because those vials were 25 gold each. Jax's like 25 gold as peasant money. <laughs> You took the words out of my lip, off my lips. Uh, uh, what's everyone's uh, healing potion situation? Two. Yeah, I like two. Uh, I have just some... the regular. Yeah. I, I have some up. of the basic potions, and that's about as much as I've got. I I okay. just hold out two basic potions and put them basic. back in my bag. I'm gonna give everybody a greater healing potion. Why else? Oh yeah, Jack's been busy. I'm gonna give everybody one of the other potions of healing. Just normal potions. <clears throat> cool. Uh, that should uh, help keep you guys up. Oh wait, how many of the regular potions of healing did you give us? Sorry. One, one. one greater, one normal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure we shall be drinking these as though they were spirits. Uh, perhaps <laughs> not that often. Can we can we get <clears throat> out of here so he can stop talking like that? <laughs> is it is it an ocean pop cart, Dutch or? Uh no, it has like a little little bit of a like a roof, I guess. Yeah, so like a, it's, a, it's a, a wagon. Road. Yeah. Like uh yeah. I'll immediately climb in. No I'm climbing up front with Dab I am I'm on the, the roof. Back. I want to sit on the roof. Okay, I mean, yeah, fuck it, dude. Oh, I was picturing a wagon with like a canvas fucking thing, so there wouldn't oh. be a roof. But if it's oh, wooden, okay. Yeah, if it's canvas. Oh, then yeah, sit on the roof. Y'all want to sit on the roof? It's you can sit on canvas, the roof. Then that's yeah, canvas. Then yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, we got like a nice ca like carriage. Yeah. Oh shit! Like it's not super fancy. Yeah, but, but like, it's not yeah. painted or elaborate. No, and the inside is not really cushioned, we'll but it's. Um, so you head on your way. Uh, it's about a two and a half day journey to get to Natil. Mm -hmm. You start heading out. Uh, try and tinker in the back. Probably. Okay. I will ask Jack Who's driving if he then? wants me to help. Davian. Okay. That's I'm why I didn't want to drive. Uh, well, it's mostly uh, tiny things. Um, trying to make something for someone, but I don't want to give it away. Would you like me to help, or would you like me to take a nap and not pay attention? Do you know how to sew? Not brilliant. Like, I can't sew an outfit, but I can mend a piece of clothing, yeah. Alright, I'll have I'll have Brooks help me. Okay. Well, it's just <coughs> the two of us. Wait, yeah, it's just the two of us in the car right now. Yeah, we're on the yeah, roof. Yeah, because the other two are on the roof, and then there's two out front. I'm going yeah. to, um, I'm gonna show Jax the Black powder blanket. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, no. What is this? Apparently, you put it against a wall. You 
Make it go boom. No more war. Brilliant. It's really we fucking cool. need more cool. black powder. It's really fucking cool. Don't think it's maybe the best idea for me to have it on my person because He's I take a lot of hits. And this feels more volatile than just having grenades on me. This feels like the sort of thing where, oh, someone throws a fireball at you. Oh, there's now half Fuck. the brooks on either side of the battlefield. Imagine. <laughs> <clears throat> no. How did that never happen in campaign one? Because <laughs> I had a bag of holding. Never I never gave all the, the explosives were until... also in a bag of holding. Oh, way. okay, okay. I got I'm a dick. dick. Yeah, that too. <laughs> I would really like to put this in the bag of holding. It was quite pricey, so please don't take it out without me knowing. Oh, well, I'm sure we won't use it unless you're there, because you'll obviously hear us use it. Yeah. I trust you. Bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> the bag of holding. Okie dokie. Um, as you guys are kind of traveling, uh, as you travel up the road uh, that heads west, the stream of, of, uh, of people does eventually come to an end. Um, but about halfway through your day, I would like the two up front, and I guess the two on the roof as well, Hell to yeah. make perception checks. I'm good at those. Oh, no, I did not do good. 13. I 13. rolled an 11. 25. 25. <laughs> <laughs> Nancy's for days. I'm busy sewing. Ooh, nice. Seven. Uh, perception. Uh, 24. 24? Yeah. You see as uh, your cart guides you, you see... Here. Four people coming towards you, running, panicked, just yelling, shouting uh, for help. Oh, there's a mini behind them! Followed closely oh. by a group of devils. Four feminine-looking devils and this larger creature that just running after them, uh, shooting at them, trying to catch up to them. Um, He's trying to make friends. Is anyone super pressed for time? No. I'm not pressed for time on paper, but I'm mm -hmm. feeling real rough. <laughs> no, I'm not right. Huge. But right, I can right, keep right, going. Right. Okay. I can, I can but go. in that case, go. Go, like, two, I would two, like two, for two, you one. all to roll initiative. Woo! Yeah, that's not like give me an extra two hours. Oh, over. for no, fuck's sake. Be, be, just, just win the combat quicker, idiot. Oh, like, we okay, might I just kind of like go Dad. over time Yo, a little bit. Yo, sitting in front of you, give me vigilant blessing quick. <laughs> um, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think I will. Boy, bar. You put. Quit it. But I rolled a I two. <laughs> Yo, you already did the roll, didn't you? No, 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 no. I mean, I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I mean, no. I think uh, we could go before Davian. Let's go. There's, there's cheating happening at my table? Yeah, can I mention blessing myself to also get double advantage? No. <laughs> get fucked. I think I finally won't be last in initiative, guys. No, because I think it's like cost a billion, so... Yeah, but I still- I think even with his bonus, I beat him. Nice. No, 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 Man, imagine mm. having wasted two of your spells already for the day. Yeah, who would have done that? Imagine fucking flying and wasting a spell on it. I already I have- right. I I have two left, so Initiatives up. of uh, 20 or <sighs> more, please. 21. 21. Can you do I, I love for having me. a positive initiative modifier. Anyone else 20 plus? Suck my dick. 15 to 20? 17. 18. What's your dex, uh, Cass? Uh, 17. Okay. Uh, who rolled 17? Sorry? Me, a Waz win. A Waz win. A Waz win. <laughs> okay. Uh, 10 to 15? Uh, 11. 14. 14. For oh, I forgot to add Thorn on the map. Hold it up real quick. Hold on. A Waz win, Wuvelier, Wimor, Wombat. 
<laughs> oh, fucking oh, no, so well. it's, it's so it's everything else is still 11, the same. It's just 11 11 for real? Guys, Shh. that's me. 11 for Jax. All right. Uh, All right 5 10. to 10. 10. Roll the 7. Davian, oh, no. 7. Maddie, 2 for a total of 10. Nice. Yeah, natural 3 for All me. Right. Uh, <laughs> fuck, let me quickly. Um. Did you put the Hades workout mix on? Da, da. Fucking ah, yes. put Onu there. Boom. Hades combat music, best music. Uh, yeah. What was the token I used for fucking... You used an imp. There we go. Let me make him tiny, right? That's how we do it. E. Oh, but, 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 that's that size. Whoop. Look at our oh. minis. The baby! Size. Look at our yeah, beautiful chat, minis. Look at this! We've, we have actual minis that look like us. Custom minis now. Don't they look awesome? That I this is the kind of things that all. your your sub buddy went to. Thanks yeah. for the campaign. You got Tabby Cat, Bar Manager, <laughs> Firefighter. <laughs> uh, Turn-based mode. Well, all right. right, hold on. I did my best. Hero Forge is limited. Yeah, I know. It's funny. Isn't it? Brooks does look fresh out of spoons, though. Mark <laughs> looks like he super looks like legit. Bar manager. He looks good, but just like a bar manager. Fucking love it. And Kes looks like his barmaid. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking you can open a tavern, guys. Wait, hold on, let's fucking put all these in. Firefighter and arsonist in the same squad, let's go. Oh, force of purposes? Fuck yeah. And mm -hmm. hot goose. Mm, they can suck Yo, you suck you by. Did you just um, say hot suck goose? you by? Yeah, suck you by. Suck you by is Koiba's ideal night out. Hold on. That's terrible. <laughs> Ethan. <laughs> Can we just kill no, I thought, I'm not gonna lie. I thought that was funny. I was looking for a fun, I was I was looking for a setup for suck you by like. Yeah. <laughs> that's the best I could think of, really. Suck you. Wait, by. what the what the fuck is that? Hold on. Huh? I just realized what is a stood on the roast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. 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 it's, it's real. Buddy. It's real Boom. fun. And with that, this big fella goes first, and he is oh, uh, roughly. Way. Oh wait, line. What size is the big fella? He's large. little. He's just like he's large. large. Yeah. Short, he's away from okay. in front of us, right? It's like yeah, yeah. No, these are not. These are ten foot tiles. Okay. Yeah. It, he's four tiles away from us. Eight. Oh. That, like eight normal tiles. So yeah, no, that would so be forty feet. feet. Actually, yeah, you know, you're right. My bad. I it. I'm smart. Wouldn't go that I... far. Uh, <clears throat> this fella just like lets out this this deep groan. As he takes a breath and kills all of them, um, and just shred these commoners, dude. <laughs> just, just you hear him just, just yell. Uh, does anyone speak Infernal? Yes, it does. I do. You, you hear him just shout, "Burn!" As he opens his mouth, and this is big wave of green fire escapes his mouth, and all four of these commoners are going to need to make dexterity saving throws. Oh, oh you, oh, you literally to, thought you were just going to say die? Guys. Just straight up thought you were like, only oh, Tom just die. Yeah, me too. Because <laughs> if it's a half damage on the saving throw, and they're, like, he's, they're probably still dead. I mean, come on, look at them. Yeah, they're probably dead. It's uh, whether or not they can be identified from their bodies. <laughs> Let's see what is wrong with just... see whether they can be identified. It's one of them is put in, um... As no, just two things are filling. Yeah. <laughs> I got my new gold tooth, my new red tooth, boys. Hey guys, I got some new grills, boys. I got some new grills on my red tooth, <laughs> and it's just like bigger than his face. Oh my god, dude, I rolled insane. <laughs> um, They're dead. It's so, like way of green safe. fire comes out of this guy's mouth oh no, this is and deals roll. 49 points of damage to all of these guys. They're dead, dude. They're dead. They're dead. So They're all dead. four of these just... Did it just help? <laughs> just get roasted too. and nothing does that remains. Nothing yeah. remains but just a pile of smoldering remains from each, for each of them. And okay. you hear this, this, this large devilish figure just... <laughs> well, now his um, breath weapon is on... Cool that, so. And with well, that, a bro, so. with yeah. that, he's going to move. No. Right here, as he sees you all, and go that's going to be his turn. God, I'm so glad I took tongues <laughs> like uh, one of my third level spells today. Nice. How big is this guy? I, I mean, large. So. Large. Large, not huge. Large. No, he's taking up a, a two by two area, so. Uh, I'm gonna move forward. 
Yeah, so you climb out the carts, I suppose. Like, I didn't think about you guys having a cart here, so there's no carts, but, you know. Yeah, climb out the carts. <clears throat> we'll imagine it. I climb out the cart, hearing him speak infernal. Realize mm -hmm. what the fuck's going on. Bonus action rage. Okay. I'm going to run at this motherfucker. I have a feeling that this guy's very strong. What gave it away, man? His size? <laughs> I mean, yeah, and the fact that he's a fucking fiend. That's crazy, dude. <laughs> You're so uh, I'll give it well one done. attempt. I'll give it one attempt. Are you gonna rage? Did you rage? I've already raged. I'm gonna uh, attempt to grapple him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Dum -dum. Okay. What is that like? Okay. That is a uh, <laughs> twenty-eight. Ooh, I get advantage. Oh. 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 I don't know about meat beats on grapple. Well, he's technically I'm... making a save, right? So. Yeah, I'd he's say, not. Grappled. I'd say that he's not grappled, right? If you go by that logic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, dude! I love looking at grapple rules every session. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. That's one of the things that are a little simpler with one D&D. One of the few things that I'm like, oh, nice. It, it's great, but also like... <laughs> no, it's, it's because work. if you make a saving throw, when you meet, you beat. Therefore, yep. I'd say he now also beats because he meets. Because he's technically saving himself from being grappled. So that's my yeah. ruling. That's what we're going with. Okay. Uh, uh, Yeah, I mean, it's contested check, so yeah. Uh, okay, that's my turn. I can't do anything else. Okay. No. I have a plus 11. So. so that's oh. your turn? Yep. Kess. This guy looks at you and just like... <laughs> smells. And... Red. In Infernal... Recognize your scent. No, oh, that's rough. Don't like that. Hey, what the <laughs> fuck? You oh, should for an awake. Excuse me? Cass, what are you doing in your free up. time, Cass? I'm going to... Mm. He said Am that I... to Brooks, by the way. So I'm going to be aware. Like, that was an Infernal. I think only oh. Brooks heard it. He said okay. it to, He said it to me? Yeah, in Infernal. Oh, oh God. Okay. Uh, so did you sleep with his wife? Just okay. ask. I'm gonna bonus action hex him. Okay. Um, I'm gonna give him disadvantage on strength because fuck, why not? Okay. And then I'm gonna Eldritch Blast. Go for it, make an attack. Ooh, nice. Uh, fucking 22. That hits. And for the second one is uh, 24. 24? That also hits. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, that is uh six plus six. Can um, you separate your damage types? Yeah. So six okay. force damage, six necrotic. And let me just check something because I can't remember if it changed. Um... Oh, uh, uh, I can't. Where did it? Where is it? I don't know. I think it's still just plus three for uh, thunder damage. Okay. Anything else? Uh, for the second one, um, uh, twelve force damage and four necrotic. Kidoki. So you like still on the roof of the car, just hex him. And, and and fires two Eldritch Blasts at him and it just kind of doof, doof, slam into his large torso and he's kind of and he's going to just shoot a like green orb your way 
bitch. Well, that's a 16 to hit. Um, I don't think that hits. Oh, you have your sheet in front of you? No. Yeah, I'm just checking. You have mage on the rock. Yeah. Wait, is mage armor active? Yeah, I think when so. Is, when did you activate that? Is your bonus action for hex, and then you action for? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh no, then yeah, that hits. You're right. Wait, is this a uh, ranged attack? Yes. Is Kes five feet within me? I mean. Mm, yeah, sure. Like technically, the order would have been like. Uh, this we'll order my... is fucked, but like if you're on the front and they were on the roof of the cart, then yes. Uh, then I'll use my um, reaction to make me the target of that. Okay. Doesn't hit. Doesn't hit. Oh, okay. I see. All right. Fair you enough. can make something target you instead. <clears throat> yeah, my arrow catching shield. It just. That's wild. All right. Is that your turn, Cass? You or are you going anywhere? Yeah, that's it. That's it. All right. And because it makes my AT 18. So keep us numero uno. Is going to 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Uh, get over here <clears throat> and is going to do, 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 do. look at Brooks. I need Brooks to make a wisdom saving throw. Historically, I've always done really well when it comes to these. Mm -hmm. Never once have I been charmed in a <clears throat> combat. Yeah, who'd get charmed in a combat? <laughs> Uh, wisdom <laughs> saving throw? Wisdom combat. save, yes. So, I do get an extra plus... Oh, is this a spell, first of all? No. Okay, so I don't have advantage. Uh, I do get an extra plus one on it, though, so that is a total of six. You are charmed by the succubus. Oh, I'm the new Nicole, got it. I Which mean... means... Uh... That you yes. will obey any verbal or telepathic commands you may receive. If anyone's going to get charmed, uh, unless by second, that's uh, you suffer harm or receive a suicidal command. <laughs> uh, wait, no. If the target suffers any harm or rec receives a suicidal command, it can repeat the saving throw, ending the effect on a success. Um, so you are charmed. Pretty much is okay. the, the gist of that. Uh, Just by this succubus. Just by this succubus, yes. Okay. And it'll... Uh, the fiend ignores the range restriction on telepathy when communicating with a creature that's charmed. Okay. And the two don't even need to be on the same plane of existence. Isn't that great? Jesus. That's cool. Um, so basically, even if we banish it, it can still talk Fuck with you, yeah. No. Yo, I got a fucking succubus so living it's in my head rent free. It just looks at you, blows you a little kiss, what? and just tells you to attack the people in and around the cart behind you. So that is your command for your next turn. Okay. <clears throat> as far as like visually, nobody sees anything happen to Brooks, of course. This is just yeah. all like mental fucking shit. Uh, Elazrin. I will, as an action, put the dome up. Here we go. Uh, bonus action, I will, now that I'm in uh, dim light because of the dome, uh, I will use my steps of the night and fly 20 feet in the air. There you go. So you're flying straight up? Flying straight up 20 feet. Okay, so this this is the radius of the, of the dome as of right now. I assume the dome Hell is like yeah, 30 dude. feet higher, right? <clears throat> my boy yeah, sure. yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a circle okay. of 30 foot radius. So. Yeah, a sphere, actually. A sphere. Yeah, that, that'll be my turn. Shut up. Okay. Wait, oh, I get up, you, you fly 20 feet up in the, in the, in yeah, the, in the sky? Up. In the sky, yes. Old. I need to like. Um, uh, and I will roll my temp HP. Cool. The minimum amount seven. Seven. seven no. Uh, enable flying. Look at that, dude. Yo. Yeah. We have the technology. Can I? How do I? How do I make you go up east? There we go. Ah. 20, 20 feet. Yo, please. please. That's four tiles. Wee. So I'm you're all the way up five. here. Your man's moving up in the world. Yep. Just want to be up. <clears throat> no, I, I can't do okay. like shit while the dome is there, yes, but so. just like whenever we need so. to, we know that the dome goes to, like so. halfway through this guy. Yeah. Um, is it your turn? Yep. Okay. 
Uh, Shockybush numero... I need to like make sure that it all looks good on stream. Two is going to move. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Right, yeah. Uh, number three also has a turn, so I might as well. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, right here. And they are both going to... <clears throat> uh, within 30 feet of it. So let's have a look. Thirty feet, yeah. Diagon. And then that would mean Jax is within thirty feet of this succubus. Yeah, but I'm inside the cart, so Oh it's true. Uh Okay. In that case, Diagon, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. That's rude. <laughs> Sorry. Monks be the oh, it's world, fine. baby. It's fine. Dirty 20. Okay, you save the first one. The other one is now going to try and... Uh, like this one ends her turn. Now the other one is going to try and charm you. So I need you to make another one. Oh. Not as good. That's eight. Oh, you are no. also charmed. Oh, and you're against the walls. <laughs> Monks to fight other people. Let's go. So you are telepathically told... Sorry to attack the people in and around the cart behind you, but leave Brooks alone. Okay. Why telepath you told to leave Dagon alone? No. Okay, good to know. Uh, <laughs> Thorn! Thorn is gonna shoot big, bar, big guy. Okay. Big bye. Big bye. Big bye. Big big bye. Big I don't think his sexuality. Oh, has any, I don't think his sexuality has any reference on what we're doing. Put him things. to sleep, baby. I'm going to sleep. So I go sleep now. When you go, we didn't. Uh. And with oh my god, yeah. Uh, he uh. Twenty-three. 23? Yeah. That hits. Make a After his con turn, I have a question. Con save? A, a million. Like, 18. <laughs> yeah, he's fine. I have a question. Go on. I'm sure I know the answer already, but you never know. Because this charm effect is like effect taking hold of my brain, does it by any chance replace the no, other thing that's affecting not. my brain? Not. God damn it! Okay, Don't worry, I had Laura. to check. <laughs> One piercing damage. We're in the same boat, baby. <laughs> One piercing damage. Laura, you, you didn't have anything affects your brain. What are you talking about? I don't know. What am I talking no, about? No, but Dragon does. <laughs> Jacksington. Be depressed. Yeah. Um, it's your turn, my friend. I'm a uh, hop out that motherfucking cot. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I don't know what that accent was. You know what the I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> and. <laughs> <laughs> he got him! Yes. Oh, this is a hell of a turn for Soko. Holy fuck. <laughs> Laurent took him over and he died. Hey, I'm, go I'm going home. I'm going home. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you you home. Home. Yeah, can oh, we get a redo get on caught. that, please? <laughs> <laughs> Jax oh. kills himself. BN. Yeah. Uh, no, go just home. Doing, what, what does Jax want to do, Soko? God. Jax is gonna <laughs> kill himself. I'm car. Um, I'm gonna run at the big guy. And technically, ow, Dagon. Uh -huh. since, uh -huh. since Dagon was told oh. to attack the people in and around the cart behind her, and Jax moves and runs past ow. Dagon. Dagon, oh, you get shit. an attack. You get an attack of opportunity against Jax. Okay. Oh, fuck that, bitch. You Why do you saying? sound so excited to attack bro Jax? <laughs> you can't hit me anyways, dude. Laura rolls like shit. It's trauma. Oh, you say that. Uh, uh, but that would be... I'm just using my fists as time to react. Uh, mm -hmm. That would be a 22. It's not hit. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <gasps> Damn! Uh, so, uh, so you notice like Daigon like, instinctively Punching. swings at you as you as you run past yeah, her, which strikes you as odd. Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> so what else do you do, uh, Jax? You uh, ran up to the big guy. Motherfucker's ass. Go on. That's a natural twenty. Ooh. Okay. 
And then, what's my plus to hit? Fuck. I think I'd learn this after like doing it all the time. I'm gonna remind you of the uh, new way we do crits here. Instead of doubling your dice, you just get the max amount of damage on your dice rolls for free, and then you roll an extra set of dice. That's right. Okay. To make um, crits feel a little more impressive. And the other one impressive. is 11 plus 8, so 19 to hit. Also hits. Cool. Mm -hmm. Alright. Uh, and just for your benefit, this will all be thunder damage. Pretty good. Crit. Oh my god. That's a nice Love crit. that. That's a nice crit, boys. Love that. And a decent other roll, so not bad actually. Mm -hmm. Um, that's uh, 31 points of thunder damage total for both, yes, or just a crit? Uh, for both, okay, okay, okay. 31. I wish I could do that, yes, 31. Not too bad. He's kind of like you because you, you're using your, your gauntlets, right? So you, yeah. so he just like you can see some of his like his exterior, it's. It's fleshy, but also weirdly, like, chitinous. There's some, like, shells going on. And you just... Send, like a, like, a, like, a crack in it. And you can see some, like, green liquid kind of leaking out. And as it hits the floor under him, you just hear it, like, into the ground. He just... And he just winds up one of his long arms and claw and just tries to... Slash at you out of, I, out of sheer reaction. I have a question, Dutch. Mm-hmm. Is this happening at the end of Soko's turn, or is it mid-turn this is happening? Oh, does Soko want to do anything else with this turn? Um, I don't think I can. No, I can't. We will gain 10 HP. Well, then get, being in the you, get, you get 8 temp HP from the dome. Well, Sick. That's all, because it's at the end of his turn. He gets yeah, legendary the... actions do take place at the end of his of an end of someone's turn. So yeah, sure. Okay, so you get eight temp HP. Uh, ooh, twenty four to hit. Wait, so 20, twenty four to hit. Fuck. Yes. Dude. Just want to make sure he gets a little bit of health. Fuck. Make sure Lazarin gets targeted <clears throat> first. Oh, those fucking fucking thing charm. Can't reach him. <laughs> Why do you think I went twenty foot in the fucking air? <laughs> oh, dude, I could too. Fuck. Idiot. <laughs> Uh, Jax, you take um, 10 points of slashing damage. Hey, but that's only 32. <laughs> You're welcome. Second, appreciate it. Succubus number four. Oh, I can't help you with this, my friend. <laughs> Suck my butt. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I'm going to look at Jax. Uh, I need you to make yeah. a wisdom saving throw. Yeah, that's right. I got advantage, bitch. <laughs> Um, wisdom? Wisdom, yes. 17. Okay, yeah, you're not charmed. And with Sick. that, she ends her turn. Davian! Holy shit, okay. Uh... <clears throat> He'll die again. Uh, yeah, man. Kill Dagen. I'm gonna try... Oh, kill me, you just gotta hit me. Snap me Wait. out of it. Oh, well, you don't, well, you, don't, well, you don't have to do any of that, but it's not the point. I'm going to throw an entangle <laughs> in a 20 foot. Oh, one, five, ten, fifteen, I'm not going to be able to get all four of the succubuses in a 20 foot square, am I? No, because I think there's. 10, 15, 20. It's two tiles, no. So, yeah, you should be able to. No, because this one two and is. Half. Yeah, yeah, two and a half. Um, I, I mean, I guess. I guess Sense it so it hits the three and the big man, I guess. Um, I'll use my uh, my bow oh, to yeah. shoot in it. It's four tiles, right? Oh, it is four tiles. See, yeah, it's one. Oh, that means I can hit all of them, right? Yeah, yeah. five, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Yeah, no, and it is not hit me. All right, so yeah, I'll just shoot and entangle over there to try and uh, entangle the four of them in the big boy, <clears throat> which is a uh, strength save. To yeah, entangle them, you'd also have to entangle me in Brooks, correct? No. No. We we'll just cast a little further back. So uh, they don't get right. as far yeah. as the pit yeah. Um, wow. I rolled two 16s and two threes. So I'm assuming. Well, two, two threes are entangled. Okay. Two 16s are not. And then Wait, what the about the big man? Yes, I'm going to roll for him now. Go. But, you know, different stats, 20 right? 20 something, probably. Uh, saving throw. 18. Well, well, almost had him. Two of them are entangled. So we'll say that this succubus is green for entangle, as well as this one. 
Boom. Uh, and then <coughs> bonus action. Oh, I just realized, yeah, the charmed ones were pink. Yeesh. Yes. Entangled concentration, isn't it? I think it is, yes. Why is his base purple? Because he's okay. hexed. Hexed. Okay. So then bonus action. O Onu's gonna fucking uh, fly up. How high would Onu be flying up? Like, Fuck, just in general? Speed, god damn it, hold on. I need a different <laughs> thing open. Uh, he can fly 60 feet, yeah. So he'll fly up uh, 20 feet? I'm not saying that's me. Hey, buddy. Oh, hey. Um, Going together. Wait, can he fly? How far is he now from the pit? <laughs> that's so stupid. Uh, we'll say six and a half tiles, so that would be... 35 feet? Yeah. 35. He's used 20. So he has... F yeah, so he... But he said he had 60? Yeah. So that would be 55 total. Yeah. Yeah, but do I really want him <clears throat> in the fucker's melee? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, fuck it. So I'll just... Oh, I have... Yeah, I'll swoop, that, swoop down and hit him. Just like here, I guess, and it like goes down a bit. Screw! Oh, it's a it's a sixteen to hit. Sixteen. Mm hmm. Just hits. Okay. Four. Eight points of okay. slashing damage. Mm hmm. Um. <clears throat> I imagine this thing has more than a five foot reach, so it's not going to really make a difference if he flies back five feet. But yeah, he'll fly up five feet. Okay. Is that your turn? Uh, yes. Yeah. All right, Dagon, you were instructed uh, to so... fight the people around you. Okay. So what is it you do? Wording was to fight them, not attack them. I realized siblings, but semantics. Okay. Um, is Kess still on top? Like, we're all still on the roof together? Yes, you are. Well, for the sake of that, oh, I'll put okay. you guys next to each other. You were on okay. top of the roof together, yeah? Then I guess just because she's Hold right the there. Um, so it, no. I will take out my what's the same take out my new iron bands of Bellaro and so, speak the, so the word and just yeet it at Kess and try so, to restrain her oh, no dude she's fucked so, if it was, the wording was attack your friends that it's punch punch but all of them fight them this is still like combative but I'm not hitting this is hit points. honestly almost <laughs> worse no, this, this, is worse. Worse. this is worse this is worse this is worse this is worse yeah sure. okay what's the saving throw Kess needs to make for that uh Please be dex it's a make oh I make a ranged attack roll oh okay sorry roll attack. oh wait oh, oh wait she's right there and it's a range should be oh, a that disadvantage that is also true yeah Okay, I'll, actually, I'll huge still do brain. it. Actually, no, huge the brain. So I'm still gonna do it. You might okay. miss. <laughs> Literally, this is like this is <laughs> this divinity, is divinity NPCs, yeah. NPCs. Yeah. Like this is ridiculous. Yo, I need some Laura. This rolls advantage right here. for the win because one of them was a 16 and one of them was a nine you're gonna, for a you're total. Gonna regret, you're gonna regret that because I'm gonna make the next telepathic commands very specific. Okay. Yeah. Well, either way, for a total of 16 to if they for the ball to hit her. Yeah. That still hits. Oh, okay. Well. So yeah, you're okay. restrained. No. You can make, a, you can use an action to make a strength check to break it. If you oh, no. she does really good on strength, boys. <laughs> let me tell you, it's a high strength. So Kess, <laughs> you look at Diagon as she turns you to you. Spells if they're verbal, you just can't move your hands. You you, you see Diagon turn to you and tosses this ball of like bands at you, and they just snap around your 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 legs and arms, and you are. Restrained. And oh, an you... important, important oh. point of clarity. This also did, was I told what the command word was, or do I get to make it up? Do you get to kind of like when you attune to something, you just kind of get to make it up, okay. unless unless given. Uh, oh, what the command? Word. Pop 
probably. Um, the command word is just going to be bind, but it does mean only cast is what you do here in a very quiet, raspy, scratchy voice. You hear Diagon say the word bind as she throws it oh. at you. And then you see an immediate recoil as she does. No, no, I feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Cass, you feel betrayed. <laughs> you have no idea what's going on, but this is betrayal. This is uh, anything betrayal. else that you can do? Um, and then I will. Oh, don't want to do it, but like, I will bonus action. Um, use a key point for patient. So then I get up and do, take on a defensive stance and do patient defense. Okay. I have a question. I'll probably have an answer. Does Daigon seem off? Can we have I seen saw, enough to see her restrain Cass? That seems off. He was yeah. trained yeah. her best friend, so to like do with that what you will. <laughs> well, then instead of getting temp HP, one charm effect is ended on you. Oh, oh that's shit. something the dome does. True. The dome, so, the dome is a frightened or charm effect. So one charm effect has been ended on you. Okay. So then, you, so I do it. Okay. There's the immediate recoil because I had to use my voice. And then, Kaz, you just see me look at you and look like confused. And then the eyes go really wide, like, oh, fuck. Okay. <laughs> like, fuck it's for safe in the bedroom later. All right. Uh, <laughs> if that's Diane's that turn, that. then it is the Pit Fiend's turn again. And it is going to use an ability called Carrion Swarm. Oh, that sounds good. Uh, that's a really cone good. of biting insects are being shot at you. A 30-foot cone. And everyone needs to make dex saves. So 30-foot cone would boom. That would hit everyone, technically, right? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, yeah, and no one is... Yeah, so everyone. Except for uh, fucking Lazarus. man up there, yeah. Except for Laszlo. So I need Brooks, Jax, uh, Diagon. Restrained, you automatically failed deck saves, right? Correct? Yep. I yes. feel like she would, because so she can't move. Kess doesn't need to make a save, because she auto-fails. But uh, Davian, no. Diagon, Brooks, and Jax make deck saves. Mm, restrained is, is just disadvantage. Restrained is just disadvantage. Great. Is restrained disadvantage? Is she going to roll out of the way in her band? She says to try and roll. Fans to make her dance. Okay. I think it's dance, 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 dance. Dance. stunned and paralyzed, I think, are the two that auto-fail. Mm. Oh yeah, no, never mind. Okay, cast make a deck save with disadvantage. In. I rolled this, a dirty twenty. Is this a spell dodge? I rolled a no. fifteen. Okay, well, luckily my first roll was good. So, uh, Davian, what did you roll? Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Bell. <laughs> Not good by the sound of it. <laughs> Um, negative one. <laughs> six. Oh, wow. She's positive. She's positive. Um, okay, quickly go through them again. So, Davian 21, Bell 6, uh, Ethan 22, 22, Sogo 15, 15, uh, Dagon 30, 20. Oh, Bell rolled for okay. Hawthorne, too. Uh, oh, yeah. oh, true, yeah. No, he's fine. Fucking piece of shit with like dirty twenty. Okay, that means that those who save take half damage. But uh, was it Jax with the fifteen? Yeah. So Jax and Kess, you fail. <clears throat> so this like swarm of biting insects just apparates around you and starts fucking gnawing at you. Uh, you take. Good. Um, Jackson Cast take thirty six points of piercing damage. Ooh. Everyone That's else hot. minus uh, Alastrin takes eighteen. You said piercing damage. Piercing, yes. So that would be nine for me. Yes, because yeah. you're raging. Yep. Wait, eighteen is hard. Yeah. Half, yeah. Because 18 times 2 is 36. Dude, Cast, are you dead? Like, are no. you out? No. Not quite. Is Hawthorne out with 18 damage? Yeah. Rip Hawthorne. Wait, where is, he, where is he in the in the initiative? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hawthorne. Oh, I'll fuck him. Uh, Where's who in initiative? Hawthorne. Uh, Hawthorne. Would Hawthorne have got 10 HP? 
Yeah, he does. He was a creature, but okay. He was before well, he Lazarus, okay. Sure. Well, how much is the base HP for Hawthorne? Two. Two. Yeah, so that nothing would have saved. Yeah, there's no way. Him. Nothing would have Wait, saved. Wait, how much? How much? Damage I give twelve. I I, you, oh, you got seven. So nothing would have saved Hawthorne. I don't that think. is the minimum so. I can give you is seven. <laughs> uh, okay. That is his turn, Brooks. Okay. Wait, now, Brooks, you I'm took damage. Not... You took damage, technically. I took damage. You make a wisdom, roll... make a wisdom saving throw. Come on. Uh, ten. Still charmed. Okay. Now, I'm not a divinity NPC. <laughs> Thank you. I'm an asshole. Thank you. You have an asshole right next to you too. Uh. You do. The exact wording I got was was attack the people. Yes. Right. Now, is this like the last time I was charmed where I was mindless and just did a swing? Or is this I have fully... Oh, you're aware of, of your abilities. So I'm you can going do to treat them like a normal decisions. enemy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <clears throat> uh, Thank God he gave me the blanket. Who can yeah. I see right now, Dutch? Everyone. Do you want to roll to see who I go for? Well, you can't go for Eladrin because he's flying up there. Other than Eladrin. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's roll d4, I guess. I've learnt my lessons, boys. I'm protecting myself. I, 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 I rolled a 2, so who would that be for you? Like... Not me. I'm Up to you, like... Uh, oh my Let's use the Discord, oh like, fucking God. order to make we'll it quick. No, it won't be, it won't be Jax, it won't be Davian, so it's either, uh, the... the Caster Dagon. Caster Dagon. Me, me your guest. Brooke, okay, I'll say oh, number two, Dagen. Kes. Brooks knowing that Kes is restrained. Brooks with easy his yeah, mind yeah. there, easy target. Brooks will go for Kes. Okay. Cool. There you go. Okay. I guess I'm gonna climb up on top of the caravan. Uh, given that she's already restrained, mm -hmm. does he have to make a save after every time he takes damage? Huh? Is it every time he takes damage he makes the thing? Or... Yeah. yeah. I t well, oh no, it's just took damage. Yeah. Uh, just she's currently restrained. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bye, guys. Like, fully restrained, <laughs> which means. Gives you advantage. Does it give me advantage? Okay. Yeah, yeah now, she can't move. Isn't she also prone because of the bands? No, no, no the restraint gives advantage don't... regardless. Restraint, yeah, that's what I was checking because because grapple doesn't, but restraint does. Yeah, no. Grapple is shit. Uh, okay, so. Yeah. First attack. Uh, that's going to be a 24 to hit. Yeah, bye. For a max roll, so 13 Jesus. points of bludgeoning damage. I'm unconscious! Oh, Ooh. good. <laughs> Big pog. So you're not casting conscious. Mr. DM. Hello. I have many more attacks. Mm-hmm. In your oh, opinion, God. move on from this. You're gonna fucking kill me. Up to you, man. Well, it depends. Is he, is he more like, <laughs> I want to make sure one thread is finished, or do I want to potentially nullify multiple threads? I don't like, know. Do I That's want why I'm asking the DM, because he's the one that's challenging. It's your character. What's it's your, your character, logic? Man. What's his... Yeah. Your character is still mentally all there. He just doesn't yeah, it's like, what's his control. No, style? bar fighting Brooks, he's got he's swinging for more standing people. There's no way he's gonna fuck, start throat punching someone on the floor. Like, come yeah. on. Yeah. It would be like, that's the best. It depends on easy. No, he's he's I'm, I'm surely he's not a D20. Tip, that's next I'm rolling a D20. You're fucked. You're fucked oh, up. Oh, whatever. I'm gonna punch Dagon. Like, there you go. Up. That makes more sense. Uh, that's a oh, you you wait, no, you've disadvantage because I took patient defense. Lol. Oh, oh, Bell. Yeah. <laughs> I'll save you next turn, Bell. I swear. So I did because yeah, yeah. she took patient defense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fine. Instead of a natural 17, it's a natural 14. Okay. So plus. That is 21. <laughs> Yeah, you hit me. Uh, 22, sorry. Can you do something? Yeah. <clears throat> Another six, so that is 13 points of bludgeoning damage. Okay, I'm also bloody now, BT dubs. <laughs> uh, yep. Bonus action, oh, an arm strike. Uh, sorry, flurry blows. Oh, good. <laughs> Fuck yeah, let's go. Bring it. <laughs> DM says you're charmed, you have full faculties. No, like... yeah, it's legit, it's legit. 
No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's what would happen. Uh, Let's go. With disadvantage, that's a dirty 20. Yeah, it hits. Well, uh, the disadvantage is gone now. It was only for the next oh. attack, I think. So you can <clears throat> straight roll it now. Oh, well, I'll keep this one because... I don't want to fuck with straight rolling it. Yeah, because patient defense, oh. it's just because the, the dodge action is just on the next attack. It's not all attacks. Ten that is. <laughs> uh, uh, 10 points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. Yikes. And my second one uh, is a 20. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, we to not be charmed and rolling like shit. A low roll, else. so eight points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. I'm in single digits, fam. I'm swaying oh, on my feet. I've blown <laughs> closed. How much movement did I used to get here? Like five, like, five feet, and five, then, like, feet. five feet to climb up. Yeah. Like so. Uh. Okay. I use Flurry of Blows, I get disengaged, and my walking speed increases by 10 foot, so I have another 40 foot uh, movement. So I'm going to move back to the... So kind of drunken master me. thing? Yep. Question, so yeah. would Rooks have had to move out of my range to get to Kess in the first place? Yes, but he, you yeah, no. he, he was a hostile at that time. So that, yeah. That's a good point. All right, if I enough. can avoid it, I'm not going to climb down next to Jax. I'm going to try and circle around, I'm going to move back into the line with the Succubus. Where? Sorry? I'm so circle like, around. Like I'm here? stuck around, try and stay out of his melee. Not there because it's entangled, right? So a bit. Oh, true. Like here. Yeah. So there. Yep. Now the dome question gets asked because is he still in the dome now? <laughs> oh shit! I didn't I think, think you about just it. left. I think you just left the dome. Probably because he's also yeah, he's twenty feet up. <laughs> <laughs> he could have fixed it. <laughs> he's he, not I, I it. mean, I'm pretty yeah, sure I mean... actually. I'm pretty sure because of hypotenuse and shit that. Where I just stood next to Dax wouldn't have been in it anyway because he's twenty foot up. Shut up! Well, no, the, no, the sphere, right? Yeah, it's thirty it, it, everywhere. We were, I, am, I am still yeah. in from thirty, which You're means up. thirty, which means the closest point to me is thirty feet away from you. So am I within thirty feet of you at any point? I don't think so because you're twenty up and you're no, also either. twenty away. So two squared is four. So four, four. Oh, stop. Uh, okay. Stop. Stop. Nobody cares. You're not in it anyway. Why are we fucking having these arguments? Because it's yeah. isn't it? Uh That's my <laughs> turn, Dad. Uh, all right. Oh no, Kes, death Kes, save. Can you make a death save, please? Yeah. Oh, no, big that twenty incoming. Oh, big matter. crit. Big that crit. Oh, really? Just let him lay down. Three. Oh, that's nice. not what we want to That's a see. fail. That's a failed save. All right. Love that. Okay. Sickness see you later. One being the one that charmed Brooks. It's gonna look at Brooks and tell you to finish the job. Ooh, okay. Oh, okay. None of you know that. Fuck you guys. Nope. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, Lazarin. <laughs> no. I sleep. Now, now I have a choice to make. <laughs> I have a choice. Okay. Can yes, you just you move forward and uncharm the man, or are you trying to heal everyone? <clears throat> kind of neither. <laughs> oh. Because <laughs> I can do... No, that's I can do that can be super helpful, right? But it's a big risk, so I'm going to fucking do it. I'm going to cast Beacon of Hope on everyone. <laughs> oh, good. Including good. Brooks? What's the radius of Beacon it's, uh, it's only 30 feet. It's 30 feet. Beacon so of Hope is a targeted point. Okay, 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 it's targeted okay. point. No, it's people within 30 feet of me. I can get. Oh, I can give them to you it. Or is it targeted? It's, tar it's targeted oh. people within 30 feet of me. And it's a number of creatures that I can see there in 30 feet. Okay. So it's everyone no, this, except... No, this is, this is good. It's okay, dude. It's okay. okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You get advantage on wisdom saving throws. You get maximum health. Get maximum heals on any heals. Maximum so heals. if I can uh, no, get I'm not questioning rest. that. I was like, is Beacon of Hope on you? Or is no, it 30 feet around a point that you yes, target? It, no, it it's... follows him. It moves with okay. him. Okay. Yeah, it moves it's with any, him. No, it's any creatures no. in the range for the duration. So I can see anyone I can see within 30 feet, I can pick That's not what any other creatures. But I'm saying no, it doesn't, no. doesn't matter. It's doesn't not matter. moves with me. It's I in 30 feet, oh. I pick creatures. Yeah. And that's it. And then if they move, they it's still as long as we hold concentration. Right. Until concentration breaks. Yeah. So does the maximum healing include yeah. the no, not temp health. Health. no, it doesn't because okay. it's not he okay. technically healing. It's temp HP yeah. healing. It's, it's, it's health gain. Yeah. I was just, just making yeah. sure I asked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> so speaking of help on the four, your four allies under you, myself, right? and yourself, yeah. 
Um, and Onu? Uh, it, I mean, it doesn't... He's like, probably not make saves and shit. I mean, I can I give it to Onu. Wait, are you including me? Because you did yeah. see me. You could, no, you you could include Because, because you used the dome to end the effect, so yeah. you know, I guess. Like, then Onu as well, he better. Yeah. You could yeah, include yeah, Onu. Let's see, he's 25. I would have loved to have got Brooks in that as well. <laughs> but... I could have moved nah, forward. fuck yeah. it, dude. But fuck it. I don't, I'm like where I am. I don't want to move. I'm okay. Dead. So, uh, you're right. a beacon of hope. So keep that in mind. Uh, then, succubus number... Oh, is that anything else you want to do, Quibs? I'm double-checking to make sure there's anything else I can give do. Yourself, give yourself hit points. Sit down, my last run. I'm just making sure there's no else I can do. No, cool. Give myself some temp HP. That's a lot better. Cool. I get. I give myself 11 temp HP. Okay. Cool. Um. Cool. All right. Your boost number two is restrained. This breakdown. Succubus. As well as this one. I think that's number three. Number two. Yes. Disappear from sight. Oh, oh. Great. Interesting. They're black. I love that. Uh, oop. They're running away. They're scared. Oop. Next step what's happening here, boys. <laughs> They're off to prep the sex dungeon. And that's all well, you see. Number two can't go anywhere, so that's good to know. That's all you. That's all you see, Jax. Yeah. All right. Um. <clears throat> fuck. Now do I get cast up or not? That's the real question. Bitch. <laughs> you have to leave that dude melee. Up to you. Yeah, but you are currently main tanky. But he can also cast cure. You're points. main tanky. <laughs> the restraint end when she's knocked down. By the way. No, I have to release the bands. Like yeah, like I would imagine. Around her body. Yeah, it's an item that's holding her restrained. So like, even though she falls down, she's still restrained, right? Because oh, yeah. yeah. Because the only way the bands release is I utter the command word or someone breaks <laughs> yeah, them. Yeah, so a we'll have to, Dagon will have to take a turn. To, I mean, to take the time to do that. If she dies, she won't be restrained anymore because she's no longer a creature. She becomes a Motherfucker! Alright, I don't think I can leave his melee without dying. So, yeah. bonus Protect action, yourself. I'm going to use a potion of healing. Okay. Max. You're beacon of hope, you get max so you get max. Yeah. 10 yeah. hit points. So that's 10. I just need to find the thing to mark it off. No, yes, 10. Yes. Yeah, yes. yeah. 2d4 plus 2. Yeah. I can math. Heal 10, and then oh, I'm just going to punch the guy again twice. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Fuck him up. Not bad, actually. Uh, sixteen and twenty-two. Sixteen just hits, so both of them, both of them hit. No. Oh my god. Two sixes. Uh, that's twenty-two points of thunder damage. Yeah. Good shit. All right. This guy uh, uh starting to look rough, time. leaking more green liquid. Uh, his like. Armor, his plating, definitely cracked in some places. The fire that comes out of the top of his head just kind of like has grown a little, a little less intense, a little, little weaker. Nice. <laughs> that's, uh, that's my turn, I think. I'm not gonna move anywhere. Uh, this succubus is gonna is entangled. And does entangled mean they can't move, like at all? Or is it difficult? Terrain. They're restrained. Restrained, yeah. Oh, they're restrained. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So action to break. Lit. In that case, this one was also entangled, so it's not doing did not do the thing that I told you guys she did. Uh restrained. <laughs> Can they try and break free from it? Yes. The strength save? Uh I was I just had it open. Hold on. I would imagine. It's a strength it check. Strength um, check. Well, that's good. Use it as action. Four. So it is not free. <clears throat> All right, Davian, uh, you're up. Jack, All right. seven temp HP. Seven temp. Yep. Let's go. Um. No, eight. Sorry. Oh, is it a, is it a bonus action to administer a potion to someone else? It's a full action, action to administer someone to someone else. Bonus, bonus, bonus to take yourself. Yes. In this campaign. A bit cringe, isn't it? <laughs> It cringes, it takes a bit more effort to force feed someone yeah. a potion than it does to drink more. If Dutch yeah. wanted to be an asshole, he could just make it an action to use full stop because that's yeah. the official rules. True. Well, if it's yeah. an if it's an action, I might as well uh, run over and give K 
casts a dose of restorative ointment for nice. um 18 points of healing nice. all right fuck yeah Healed. No longer unconscious, still prone on the top of the carriage, though. Just yeah. and bound and bound by this <laughs> fucking then, these bands. Hey, yeah, bonus reset, bonus though. action. No. Uh, Onu. Hmm. Is it, he's still in its melee? Isn't it? Is it? Yeah. Oh my god, it's a big. Even though he moved the five feet after he attacked, he's still in its melee. Yeah, he's like he's a, he's a he's a big lad. Yeah, yeah he can reach that. Uh, okay, so in that case, Onu is going to attack the uh big man okay uh which is a shit 13 to hit doesn't hit unfortunately uh which means i think he has to stay where he is or he's gonna just he's just gonna burst into a cloud of feathers uh let's see <laughs> yeah oh when it oh <clears throat> wait he doesn't even need to attack. The beast just doesn't provoke opportunity attacks and it flies out of an enemy's reach. That's it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm an idiot. All right. He's going. He's just going to fly up and he's going to fly over towards the two... He, above. So he's above the two restrained uh, succubi. Yes. Hopefully okay. not in their range, but True. just, you know, re ready, poised to attack and make the most of that restraint. Okay. All right. And that'll be my turn. Dolagon. You get right. eight, ten um, eight. Since Kes is still bound in the bands before I release it, I just kneel down and sign the word for drink, and I give her because I know it's obviously it's more awkward to feed someone while they're coming to consciousness. <laughs> but um, give her my potion of superior healing, and that's at max. Oh my so god! So that's sixteen. That's twenty hit points. And then with my bonus action, you'll hear her say again, "I." In a really scratchy, pained voice, and wince, and you get released. And I pick up the ball, and that's my turn. Yay! Wait, you said superior or greater? Yeah. Or oh, sorry, greater. So, yeah. I was gonna say, holy fuck! I was gonna say, wait, where did you get a fucking superior? Okay. Sorry, oh, God. Uh, sorry. I Dude, meant hook greater. Me up. <laughs> okay, okay, no, okay. I meant yeah. greater. <laughs> All right, so you're no longer restrained. Uh, I'm assuming as well. Uh... Yeah, because I removed the yeah. the binds from her. Boop, boop. You're still prone, but uh, you're healed. And, and I have a restrained. very, very, very embarrassed and apologetic facial. Well, respect. actually, I think Diagon would find this quite funny, to be honest. Oh, shit, you're right. <laughs> Never mind. I don't know why. I just feel like Diagon would kind of find, this, <laughs> find this quite funny, quite humorous, actually. I don't like that Diagon's humor. Like, Diagon's... Yeah. Forgot, my bad. <laughs> no, you're good. I still did. So instead of the set, you just, you just see me. You, no, you see me just, like, sign... Whoopsies! As I free you. <laughs> That's the worst. Pass uh, is pissed. <laughs> your signs. Wrong ball. <laughs> All right. Uh, so it's your turn, yard. Megan. Yeah, it's my turn. You get 11, 10 HP. Oh, sweet. I needed, I needed that real bad. The fiend is going to see if his... Inferno recharges. Please no. I hope the fuck it does. It does I not. Really hope it does. It oh, does good. not. Uh, so it's gonna just do two melee attacks against <laughs> Jax. He's right there. Suck my fucking cock. <laughs> oh, that's not good. That's a seventeen to hit. Does not hit. Figured. Uh, and an eighteen to hit, which also doesn't hit. I don't think. Hit. Damn. Ah, so that's his turn. Brooks. Like pussy bitch. Mr. DM. Hello. Would you care to remind me of the exact wording of the instructions I was Let's given? finish her off, finish but now job. she's... Finish the oh, job. Finish okay. the job. But now she's awake. I'm going to use my movement to move over to Kess and climb so up So what do you think the job well, means? What does it mean me? to so. you? Uh, like he can, like, I have 40 foot of movement. Yeah, he can, he can, he can go him. around you. Yeah. Uh, with advantage, because she's prone. Okay, here, I guess. I don't know. That but at is, least you've uh, healed. Uh, 38 hit points. Hit. <laughs> yeah, but he could take it out. You don't need me to say yes. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> off. Uh, that is 12 points of bludgeoning damage. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Guess I had a bad day. Second attack. <laughs> Look at me. Punch uh, the is, uh, no, not uh, 25. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is 10 points of bludgeoning damage. Mm -hmm. Call that healing Story spell. Please. I'm mm -hmm. glad I used the greater potion. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, God. Brooks after this, right? Uh, natural yeah. 20. Mm -hmm. Uh, So that's three. And she's nine, out again. 13. Because <laughs> that's a crit. 15 points of bludgeoning damage. Mm hmm. <laughs> and my last attack. Are you still hooked? Uh, is a 24 to hit. Mm -hmm. She had 38 hit points. I'm pretty sure he's up to 35 of those. So I think this is it. <laughs> uh, that is a. Yeah, 12, that's 12 points of bludgeoning damage. Yeah, I'm out. <laughs> I get knocked down. I get <laughs> yeah. How much movement did it take me to get here? And then I get right knocked right back that down. Last attack, I was at 1 HP. 20 feet. 20 feet. It took me 20 feet to get here? Yeah. Yes. Fuck it. I'm gonna climb over Kess. I'm gonna get in melee with Daigon and Davian. Oh, thank fuck for Do that. it, bitch. Okay. <clears throat> Kess, it's gonna have that save, hey. please. Uh, hey, uh, Ethan, you're no longer charmed. Uh, the fuck hey! you. Oh no! Oh no! Hey, Belle, hey! <laughs> Bell, you get advantage on this death save because of Beak of a Hope. Uh, Brooks, you like snap out of it and you see the carnage that you've. You and you see Kess's blood on your knuckles. Kess's blood on your knuckles. Seeing Kess is like battered on the, well, on not, the not roof of the carriage. Not just my knuckles, like I flurry of blows, so a couple of those have been like elbows and kicks. Yeah. yeah. Maybe a flying knee. So what is the emotion that would wake up in Brooks that is being woken up right now? <laughs> First um, um, save um, was um, a um, four. Um, and then um, the advantage was a natural one. Okay, nice! So so still only one say, fail then one, in that case. At yourself. least it's better than two yeah. fails. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Yeah, I fucking could to help. Uh, you tried. Uh, you tried. Number one notices that uh, her charm has worn off. Oh, does she recharge it? Is it back? Well, you oh, have advantage she, on the it's save. Not, it's probably like a per day thing. Oh, does she fucking figure out? Oh, you're you're I'm immune now. For the next 24 cool. hours. Oh, that's cool. So am to I too? To all the charms or to yes. her charm? Whoa. To the charm effect, I believe, is what the word is. That's a good one. Uh, we can combo the charm. Uh, it's... To this fiend's charm, specifically. Sorry. Oh. So uh -oh. they, each fiend can charge oh, they can each do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but this thing... <laughs> Is going to just make two claw attacks against Jax. Which one? The like succubus. Uh, oh. 25 oh. to hit. Uh, yeah, that'll do it. You know what? Fuck yeah. you, silvery barbs, bitch. Okay. <laughs> Back the fuck off. And that's the nine to hit. So, uh, yeah, All right, yeah, so both of them miss. Dick, I'm going to give advantage to Kess. All right. Elazarin. No waste for death as long as. No, um, I will cast as a bonus action a mass healing word. Does that end uh, the beacon of hope? Oh, no, because it's not nope, concentration. Not concentration. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, so Kes gets 9 HP, Davin gets 9 HP, Dyan gets 9 HP, Jax gets 9 Beautiful. HP. Uh, Brooks gets. Yes, you're up! Brooks gets 9 HP. Well, no, he doesn't have. You have to roll for him. Oh, I do. He's true, because he's, he's not wasn't a beacon of hope. Yeah. That's, that's true. Yeah, that is true. Sorry, Bro I don't want to be that guy. But You're right. Brooks is five bros. HP. I rolled a one. Uh, so cool. <laughs> I'm nearly back to max health. Yeah. Fuck off. Uh, <laughs> yeah, everyone else, murder, everyone else gets murder, nine murder. HP as an action. Mm -hmm. I am going to cast a uh, sacred flame at the big boy. Dex save, Dex correct. save, please. Yeah, he's probably not going pass that. Natural pass. Uno. Oh, nice. Oh. Good tea, folk. Oh, he takes eight points of damage. Huh? Okay. Big turn. Very nice. Is that radiant damage? Uh, it is indeed. Oh, Pog. That's probably even better. Oh, was it eight? Ooh. Eight, yeah. Yeah. Okay. As this like um, holy light burns the flesh of this individual, you hear him just. I don't like that. Does not like it. Not, not at all. God, oh, I'm so glad I got rid of all of my spells that would do that type of damage because I didn't have fun that today. <laughs> well, luckily, you have a long rest before you get to uh, Natil. Hell yeah, yeah. that's true. Uh, all right. 
this succubus is still fucking stuck, so it's just gonna try and charm Jax. Jax, make a wisdom saving throw, please. With that advantage. Charm me before. With advantage. Yeah, yeah. I had advantage hope. before. I, I had advantage. Oh, before. Advantage on um, wisdom saving throws. I, I would have it beforehand, but that's. No. Oh fuck. Oh no. So cool, no. Gosh. Hello. As someone that's been challenged by a succubus, do I know what's happening right now? Absolutely not. Okay. Thirteen. Thirteen? I'm gonna kill the whole party. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you all now, dude. And you, tele oh, fire blanket you us. telepathically get told to just kill, kill them behind you. Okay. <laughs> Great. Uh, not, not Great. Oh, and my turn's before the party, dude. Let's fucking go. Yep. Oh, no. I'm gonna die again. Uh, How many times will Kes go unconscious in one fight? The is, do I kill Kes or do I try oh, to hit the whole God. party? This succubus Dude. just suddenly... She didn't say attack, she said kill. Suddenly... Oh. Well, yeah, but I still hit Appears... Kes. Behind yeah, Davian. Kill. Oh. She just, like, pops out again. And uh, is going to attack twice with her claws. Not her claws. <laughs> uh, her 22 claws. hits. Yeah. 16... Uh, yeah, 16 to hit. Yeah. Yeah. For 11 points of slashing damage total. Jax. Uh, okay. <laughs> so. Biggest spell right now. <laughs> I'm going to flip a coin. Uh -oh. Uh oh. For either killing Kess or thunder waving the whole party. Oh, great. Uh, I mean, same thing, right? Here, you flip a coin. Dude. All right. Uh, Jax well, is going to run over to Kess. No! And no, smash no! her face in. <laughs> I mean, at least it's not me, right? Like Advantage to hit. Yeah, Silver, you linings. Uh, Silver does linings is a not me. 17 hit? Yes! Yeah. Uh, so that's an auto crit. So that's two death saves. And uh, Kess is dead. I, I will have uh, an healed. HP. She got healed. She got healed. Yeah, she got oh, healed. Oh yeah, the, the, the bonus. The, so she's the bonus now unconscious. Anymore. Okay, so I need wait. No, I need to roll. Hold on. Initial damage. How much health do you have, Cus? Nine. Which basically. Uh, yeah, that's eleven points of thunder damage. Okay. So you're unconscious again. Oh wait, I have resistance to thunder damage. Oh no shot. Oh my god, that's so clutch. That's clutch. <laughs> so oh, she's conscious. So... This is bullshit. So you take half. So five. So I'm you're at full alive. now. I want to, I'm full. All right, Fuck. we're going again. Let's go. Uh, you're going unconscious now, dude. That's a fucking 27 day. <laughs> yeah. You could roll real shit and then it's halved. She might have one hit point. I doubt 13 it. points of thunder damage. All yeah. right. So with that, Kes goes unconscious yet again. Oh, this uh, is let me see what my bonus actions are real quick. Hold on. You know those like posts people do like um spoilers without context for episodes? It would just be the song I get knocked down. Yeah. I get up again. Uh, it's a spoiler stop, without context for on. this. She's not even getting up. She's still like, she hasn't gotten up yet. I get knocked down. She's just knocked down. down and I'm down. <laughs> down. How many how many damage did I take last time? Uh, Six. And, uh, enough to knock you out. How about, yeah, yeah, yeah. Way, how about like, way down to Hades Town? Is that what's going on there? I, I did thirteen on my second hit. Hades Town. Six. <laughs> Oh. Um. All right. I think that's all I can do. Okay. Wait. Now. I can, wait. At the end of his turn, Lazarus just and removes the charm. You're no longer charmed. Oh, fuck! Woo! I forgot about that. This is bullshit. So I want to <laughs> kill her. What the fuck? So go relax. Uh, so Jax, you like snap out of it, and you look at Kess, and you're like, Oh God. <laughs> Every time it happens, just imagine me just up there being like, stop <laughs> killing oh, okay. me, you pricks! <laughs> uh, Alas, they're going, stop fighting! Um, stop. Is going to try and break out of the <laughs> fucking restraint or whatever. No fucking fighting! No Natural fucking two. fighting! No fighting! <laughs> Alas, yes. become the dad. It is your Chubbit. turn. <laughs> Fuck's sake, man. Now, <laughs> kills Kess. What, what would it... <laughs> Yeah, it's his it turn a, now. Would it be a bonus action to coat a weapon or an action? Yes. I think it's a bonus action with it poison and stuff, action. right? So that would be a bonus action with that as well. All right, it I'm takes coating. An to poison. Oh, never mind. Action. Smile. Okay, I'm not coating. <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Ranged spell attack is disadvantage on anyone if anyone's in my melee, right? Like, I couldn't shoot yep. with a ranged Correct. attack. Correct. I would have disadvantage if the circuit is behind me. So. Mm -hmm. Um. God, you I have the resistance on range five damage, dude. The restrained ones. Well, oh, you think it would be cancelled out? So I would just if be a they're restrained, well then you get them. advantage on ranger checks on them. Yeah. Then straight roll. Yeah, we straight roll against the two succubi. Succubus. Yeah. Mm. You shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> it's, not, it's not a bad idea. I was getting a good nap this session. No. Um. So it's like a stun log. I was nearly laying Kess. down as long as Kess is. Uh, yeah, I'm no, I'm actually I think I'm gonna no because there's one right up my ass. I'm just gonna fucking Hold on. Hold we on. haven't killed anything. <laughs> I'm gonna <clears throat> melee attack the one behind me with my uh, uh High Castle's Cutlass. Okay. What are the odds if we kill the big guy, the sucky bug gets scared wait, and wait. run? Can I can I fucking cutlass and dagger actually? Is that okay? Two weapon fighting, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so start with the cutlass. That's bad. So that's a 12 to hit, dude. How much? Okay, 12. Uh, no, it doesn't hit. Yep. Yeah. And then the dagger is a 9. So that's awesome. <laughs> Great. And then <laughs> Onu is going to just swoop down and attack. Oh, uh, shit. That's so just number 2. Number 2, yep. This one. Yeah. All right. Get him, yeah, Onu. With advantage. Yep, 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 yep. So that's a 15 plus hits. Yeah. Uh, for D4 plus. Where's my D4? Oh, and it's a 4 plus 3 plus 3, so 10 points of damage. Okay. Not I'm going to double check that real quick. Hold on, because it could be 9. <laughs> it might be plus 2 plus 3. No, plus 3 plus 3. Yeah, so 10 points of damage. All right. From Onu, and he'll fly back up and stay safe and sound up where he is. Mm. Okay, okay. And that's my turn. Dagon. Uh, Devian has 9, 10 HP. Um, cool. I... <laughs> Probably don't. Oh, Finish the job. Is this an action or a bonus action? It's an action. Fuck! Okay, I can't do that. Um, I will... Um while feeding another potion, a regular potion of healing to Kess. So mm -hmm. Kess gets 10 hit points, because the Beacon of Hope's still up. <laughs> um, and just... Um, <laughs> that was gonna fucking, like, pop a hip out of her fucking right. sockets and run back and forth like that, dude. And I uh, will spend... I might have dedication to the bit. Um... I will. Lost connection to the board? Hello? Huh? Lost mm -hmm. connection to the board, apparently. But we're good. No, you're good. Oh, um, you're good. How... The the two that are entangled, that area is difficult terrain, right? Yes. But even if I used... Not, if I had 90 feet of movement, could I still get behind those two succubi? If you what? Sorry? And if I have 90 feet of movement if I activate feline agility. Can I get behind the succubi, even though it's difficult terrain? Mm, probably go here. Ooh, do I want to, though? So do I want to leave the dome? I don't know. Let's just see if I can even do it. Wait, behind... Uh, well, this is also difficult terrain, though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So... I mean, fuck, man. How much fucking movement? 90 feet. 5, 10, 15, 20. So oh this God. would be safe. 90 feet. I could potentially make it 180 if I needed it, but I don't. Really you can get that. to like here. Okay. You won't be in difficult terrain. But this is neat. This like fucking. Yeah. Love that. Oh, what do I want to do? Okay. So you can you can get there. Check it out. Nah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to. No, you know what? I, I, mm, I'm gonna, yeah, I'll do that. I'll use my feline agility and get behind them. Uh, and then I will spend a key point to use patient defense. 
Okay. That's my turn. Fiend. For fuck's sake! Comes well, on the They don't like you. Like slams into the cart and will just attack yeah. Brooks. Like there you go. Chupacabra. Imagine someone else getting attacked. That's crazy. Yeah, <laughs> 22 oh, to hit sure. Brooks. Uh, yeah, that hits. Oh, I'm about to play a bit more. And a natural 20. And a natural 20, yes. Oh, baby! <laughs> Fuck Looks me. like I won't have to live um, without grief for long. Actually, I have my reaction back. So we're I love that Jax has silver bath, which is the that. just the magic equivalent of. We roll that. Is that? We roll that. You said. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Eighteen to hit and said. Uh, that still hits. Fine, not a crit. We're okay with that. Um, and I'll give oh, advantage oh, to oh, Kess. Oh. Wait, Kess already has advantage, doesn't she? That was on the death saves. Now that she's awake, not on just. Uh, oh, 20, she has on whatever. 20 points of slashing damage, half to 10. Cool. And in Infernal, we'll just say. I know where your scent is from. Ooh, spicy. Two Brooks. I'm going to give my advantage to Davian. Brooks. Fucking what? You're up. <laughs> my turn? Yes. Yeah, Brooks. After he says that to me, I'm going to reply infern in Infernal so nobody else knows what I say. And mm -hmm. I'm going to look at him and say, It's your mother's perfume. And then I'm going to attack him. <laughs> uh, That's You've actually just got some deep trauma on the man. So he doesn't uh... know his mom. And he, like, it's always, like, really <laughs> sad sickness that happens uh... about like Natural this. 20 on the first one, and one. Uh, 17 on the second one. Yay! Both hit. Cool. So the first one. That's fucking good. That's fucking good. Uh, 6, 12, 17, 19 points of bludgeoning damage. It is a magic weapon, in case that's important. Mm -hmm. uh, second okay. one is 5, 10. The second one is 12 points of bludgeoning damage. Still a magic weapon. Okay. Bonus at you. This is he. Look at he's looking very rough. Cool. Good. Mm -hmm. Bonus section. Floria blows. Fuck that man. Uh. First one's a twenty, a dirty twenty. And the second okay. one's a twenty-one. Both uh, hit. So these. This is no longer magic, by the way. If that affects anything, mm -hmm. because this is my fucking kicking him in the shins. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Both shit. Uh, both eight for a total of sixteen points of bludgeoning. I don't want to finish him off. As he says that to me, <laughs> we he's next to the cat, right? Mm hmm. We're on top of the cat, so we're roughly like chest. You're like eye level, yeah. Him. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna jump forward at him. I'm gonna put mm -hmm. my arm around his head and I'm just gonna snap it. Okay. As you do that, this you, you kind of like fall down to the ground with him. He'll like look you in the eyes before you actually snap his neck. And he'll say. Brood of Glacia. And fucking, you know, you snap his neck. The succubi, succubuses, all just disappear. They Ooh. immediately poof. Of course they fucking do. That's been infernal. Du -du -du -dum. Bom, bom, bom. You gone? Bom, bom, bom. Bom, bom, bom. Du -du 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 -dum. And now slowly, like, fade out. Just like... <laughs>